Hello, we're live. Hello. Hello, we're live. Hello, Hi. we're Hello. live. Hello, we're live. Hello, live. I'm Valfius. Hello, everybody. Everybody, starting Hi, with Val, Nick. what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Go. Vanilla. Next up is is Rubes. Uh, Moose Tracks. Okay, next up is Dime. <laughs> Legit flavor. Coffee? Coffee? Yep. Nice. Next up is Darian. Ketchup. I mean, chocolate. Oh. <laughs> you know it exists. And Key. Yeah. What's your favorite America, ice cream? America's birthday cake. And that's genuinely not me setting up. It's great. Hmm. Okay, you can stay. All right. Yay. What about you? I... Uh, two my two of my favorites were taken, coffee and vanilla. So I think my third favorite, mango. Mm. Hey, mango. Mango ice cream. Mango ice cream. Yum. Isn't that technically a sorbet though? Uh, oh, yep. aren't you technically um, a sorbet? Actual... Yeah. <laughs> Let me think about yep. that. DM. Three blocks, three blocks away from my house, they sell Nutella ice cream, and it is delicious. Ooh. Ooh. I wish I could share it with you guys. Just throw it really hard. We'll catch it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the way from America. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome Hello. to 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 the Tembe. Winnie's still real big. I feel like Winnie's just slowly getting bigger every week. Still. Yeah. Uh, she she's a growing girl. Winnie growing, um, yeah. <laughs> we we've been here. We're on episode twenty nine somehow. What? Mm. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. But it's so good to see you all. How are you all doing? Um, we hope you are doing well today. Yeah. Um, we've introduced you to all the players via their favorite ice creams. You will be quizzed on this at the end of the stream, so no pressure. Um, but, uh, who do the ice cream lovers play, indeed? Perhaps. Verily. Well, there's for only sooth. one way to forsooth. <laughs> for we shall find out for over long henceforth! Heretofore before too long. So, let us start with Danny and move on in the same order as ice creams. So we have Savalfius playing a Danny the Dapper Dwarf. Howdy, I'm Danny the Dapper Dwarf. Sometimes I pretend to be a streamer named Sir Ralphius. It's a bit of a silly name, but it works out. How are y'all y'all doing today? Good. Hi. Wonderful. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Could be a little bit better for you know we're just hanging in there. Uh, <laughs> wonderful! And yes, you can check out Sir Valfius at www.twitch.tv for slash Valfius. Been playing some Alien Isolation and oh. moved on to some... Yes, Mo let, 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 let's emphasize <laughs> that. I have moved on from Alien Isolation. To <laughs> Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, which also gave me enough time to remember the name of the game you are also streaming now. So go check them out! Send some love! And some Hades too. <laughs> yeah, and Hades. Always Hades. If, if, if I'm gonna do the sellout thing, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna li list it all. <laughs> Tales of the Torn Veil and one of our players is playing a game where you thirst over the gods? Couldn't be. Um, next up we have the wonderful Robes Make Stuff, otherwise known in our campaign as Camellia the Sun Satan. But she's Hi. Gonna, she, they're gonna do the whole the whole spiel. It's gonna be so smooth and put us all to shame. Mm -hmm. Hi, Hi Rubes. I, I'm Rubes Mixed Stuff, according to Val. <laughs> and I play Camellia, the Sun Satan Ranger. It, it, can I self promo something real quick? No. Yeah, of course. Okay. okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> promo! Promote yourself! Yeah, so I'm um, back home and back to work after house sitting for like two weeks. And so to make up for my break, I'm doing a drunk dono stream this Sunday over on my oh Twitch my at Rubes Mixed Stuff. I'm going to be drinking and drawing and playing games mayhaps and just being silly goofy. And if you've never experienced drunk Rubes before, you should stop by because they're something. 
I can only we have a time imagine. There? Uh, this Sunday at 2 p.m. PST. I have more info in the like panels of my Twitch channel. <gasps> okay. Yes. Yeah, you must all check out Rube's Muck stuff doing that this Sunday <laughs> mm -hmm. at 2 p.m. PST. <laughs> Wonderful! Go check them out! Do it! They make so much stuff. Um, and they're funnies and good times. Speaking of, we also have the wonderful Dime package, and he will be playing the incredible, not on the floor, not unawares, because his name is Beef on the Stairs. <laughs> I don't need to introduce myself anymore. There you go. Okay. I just love doing doing a different one each time. It's great. Self promo. I am Dime Package, and I have been uh, doing some Halloween streams over on Twitch as well. Right now, we're working on Dead Island Riptide. Uh, thank you very much to Darian for the great raid recently. Also, Sir Ralphius and Rubes for hanging out. It's good to see you all there. Um, from this lovely corner coming to my lovely corner because I'm a big fan of mm -hmm. horror and movies and all that good stuff. And I play um, Beef on the Stairs, uh, your favorite wrestler who unfortunately <laughs> was taken out by Shawn Michaels after um, mm -hmm. withstanding the entire Royal Rumble. Yeah. Thank you. Will we ever recover? Truly. Cannot wait to see that. Arc. You know what? If I was to lose to anybody, it'd be Umbrella. I'm I'm fine with that. <laughs> yes, everyone's favorite. What is the what is the backstory there? Maybe we'll find out. I don't know. But next up, speaking speaking of wrestling, we have Darian Audio, wrestler of ketchup and bad guys, and his own arm, uh, playing the incredible Tarquin. Hey, hello everyone. Now I am a wrestler as well as everything else. So let's keep on adding more things to my resume. Hello everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, happy to be here with all of you. I'll be playing the part of Tarquin, as you already know. And yeah, I also been doing some stuff on Twitch recently. I just started and it's been really fun. We've been playing horror games like Fears to Fathom, and it was hilarious, and although it's not supposed to be hilarious, but, you know, I never take things too seriously, so we're having fun and laughing. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, let's hope that today I can finally fix this arm, that everything is going, falling apart, you know? It's very hard to fix an arm in this world, you know? In this, in this economy. <laughs> yeah, bones coming off. It, it's, it's hard, I mean, you know? it was it Not was easy. mostly there, and then and then a couple of things happened, and a bad roll, and it just all yeah. just went to went kaput. Um, I guess it's for Halloween season, you know. Yeah, gotta be a little mm. bit spooky. I, I have to show some bones. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> it's like, look, guys, I'm human. <laughs> it's like most people would die from that injury. Um, <laughs> they would already be dead from sepsis. Um, and there is no tangible uh, segue there. <laughs> Having already died of sepsis, I don't know. Um, <laughs> there's no, nothing there. But equally amazing and uh, wrestlery in our uh, Discord Someone matches. Someone who also has bones. Someone <laughs> who also may or may not have bones mm. is the incredible... Uh, JC playing the also incredible Luto Bayani. Hello, thank you. You're on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> and what else can we see on your channel, JC? Tomorrow, tomorrow is my birthday. Yeah, birthday. Yay! Oh, Yay! Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm, gonna I'm turning some... old. I'm gonna turn <laughs> great, like not even funny old. And no. it's uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna stream either on Twitch or YouTube, or I don't know. I'll do something probably. I'm uh, currently in the process of dying, and I'm looking forward to making you all part no. of that uh, procedure. So Thank you're you. not. You're not. Don't you're not that. gonna die. Oh, you're so gonna you're getting older. Yeah. <laughs> Tre Tremend no. it's, it's like the kind of number where like you see it and you're like, oh. Like it's no. Yeah. Look, I'm getting so close to one of those numbers my, my myself. I'm getting close no, to one of those numbers myself. 
No, I know, I know, nobody's age here starts with a fucking A. The Grim Reaper comes for us all. Yeah. But it does, it's young of spirit. But according it's... to Hades, the Grim Reaper is hot, so that's fine. Exactly, and he doesn't look old. The Grim Reaper comes on us all. Maybe. Oh my god. That's and what you like. I... Oh, no. I'm Key, I wish I could erase the last 10 seconds. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Key. Oh, what just happened? Uh, I am the DM <laughs> using modify memory on myself uh, at any given opportunity. Um, I will be and have been and maybe will always be your DM. I don't know what that means. Um, huh. But I'm here to orchestrate chaos, harbin be the harbinger of doom and good fortune, and also mostly doom, and uh, to enable and um, catastrophize uh, my entire uh, plan for this campaign every time the players do something. Uh, except that one time when a plan worked out. <laughs> but it is ever so good to have you here um we do ordinarily have a coffee that you can check out and you can you can check it out um at our link for the coffee um we are on pause for the commissions until we get some more closed and covered and done but there will be more on the way and you can still support us there so be sure to check it out if that's your kind of thing Everyone in the coffee is going to get extra sneaky peeky peekies. Even if you just support once and you give us three dollars and that's all you can ever give us, you will get sneaky peekies. As long as there are sneaky peekies to give. And there will always be sneaky peekies to give. It's a big ass world. Um, we, we really appreciate that because yeah. like three dollars, especially in this economy, it's like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Like, are, are y'all sure though? Yeah. You may have one egg. <laughs> a dragon a egg? A whole egg? <laughs> For $3? That's, that's an idea. Possibly. Um, <clears throat> yeah. That's, that's, hmm. Don't we'll make see. promises can't you have can't have a whole dozen now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make egg, all the promises. Uh, you're not the only ones who can reap chaos on my world. Uh. Um, <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, chat can also do that. <laughs> Um, but yes, the uh, project pretty much funds itself, um, other than some of the art and music bits that were Redemptions and will hopefully come back as Redemptions. Um, a little bit of that uh, goes towards the artist and musician, which is currently myself, because we had we had a musician one time, but he was racist, so we got rid of him. Uh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> but um, that is just to make sure food can be had on the table. But otherwise, every single penny goes back into the cast, into the crew, into this team of people for their incredible work. So why not support? You never know. And yes, we will have more exciting stuff back. We've also got a giveaway to figure out as well. I haven't forgotten. Oh, lots of good stuff coming. And we will Thank hopefully be- Thank you, Mom be... and Dad. <laughs> Thank you, Mom and Dad. And we will hopefully also be on Blue Sky before too long as well. And if you want to know what the fuck we're talking about when we're talking about wrestling, join our Discord. Check our Discord because mm -hmm. that's going to be a thing. <clears throat> That's it. That's just going to be a thing. Keep your eyes peeled. If you want to mm -hmm. catch your faves wrestling each other, Winnie versus friends, Tarquin versus Gimmick in an ambulance match, mm -hmm. Umberly versus Gimmick in a cage match, Everybody everyone versus gimmick. everyone, <laughs> while, while Danny just punches women and friends <laughs> lays to the side being really just dead. That's where you can go check it out. Um, and there are pictures of all of the evidence there. Y'all only thought you the children were in danger. Well, <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so come check it out. Uh, it's a fun place. Who There's loads now. of... Mark is going to show us three. <laughs> oh my god, it's going to be three versus Kinry. <laughs> it's like, wait. And then the, the fucking um, Osprey Orphan Society from the beginning. The little theater orphans. Um, but you can check that out. We also have fan art that's posted there often. There's 
some fucking prime memes. Just really good memes. Holy shit. Um, it's a very chaotic place, but we also have theory and discussions about the plot and theories so far. I occasionally ask ominous questions, and sometimes we make little, little canon decisions based off of those things. So that's the place to get involved. And that is fucking free. Oh shit. So, lots of ways to join in and support our little project. And we appreciate everyone who has, does, and indeed is about to, or will ever. So invite your friends, get your nan to lurk, even if she doesn't know what the fuck is going on, you know. It's all good. Um, as always, would anyone like to give recapping last week a go? Said I would try, it's going to be horrible. Let's go. Um, That's here fine. We go. It's beautiful. <clears throat> so, um, I... Ifon stole a book uh, mm. last time that, uh, well, not last time, the time before last time, which was the time before last, because we did a thing. Anyway, um, <laughs> stole a book. It was a very important book because we had been uh, at this party pretending to be people that we weren't. There were a bunch of very important families uh, that were part of uh, Nil. And uh, yeah, we were doing our best to pretend. I figured, you know, grab this book and it'd be a little easier to pretend that uh, Riordan, our queen, uh, was <laughs> actually part of uh, the Orichalc hel heraldry. Blah, blah. <laughs> it's a mouthful. <laughs> it is a mouthful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's what we were pretending to do. So not much happened beyond people wanting to know where that book was last week. Um, namely, the two twins. Uh, who were hosting the party that we found out was filled with a bunch of actors and everything. They started to give up a lot of what was going on behind the scenes when they were trying to find this book. And of course, us seeing that uh, the brother was getting a little too close for comfort, I decided to knock him out. And it was just Sweetie. then that the DM... Uh, decided to sabotage the shit out of us uh, by having his sister walk in at that very moment. It was going um, to happen. It was <laughs> not. It, it was. was not. It did on point this. Oh, I can sabotage y'all if I if you want wanted to. to. I no, uh, no. See, no, 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 no. See, now you're gonna sabotage. No, I'm not. To like, anyways. <laughs> yes. Hey, DM. What's your yes. name again? Azilia. Thank you. I got you. Yay. So Zelia came in, saw we were up to some shenanigans. We were like, hey, man, you know, he was just really worn out from the party and stuff. Uh, she asked if we could just, you know, lay them down and um, proceeded to tell us a bunch of things uh, about how she knew what was up with us. At the very least, she knew that we weren't part of the Orichalc. They called them council or something. Orichalc Her heraldry. Yeah. <clears throat> And uh, what she had been doing was, well, I mean, she was nice enough to actually try to heal Arian. And I say heal in that way, because uh, we were informed that maybe they aren't, this family wasn't the best family to go to. The healing family might not actually be the best family to go to for healing, because apparently uh, there's these two twins in the family that are kind of nuts a little bit. Yeah. Um... So she did the work, but was really suspicious, and proceeded to undo her own work by uh, pulling the stitches out of Tarquin when he didn't tell her what she needed to know, which was, who are you? To which Tarquin said, the <laughs> fuck I know. And <laughs> she didn't believe that, but Iconic it's the moment. Truth. Iconic <laughs> moment, yeah. It's the, it's the genuine truth, you know? It's like, it's two honest people having a problem. It's like, she actually fixed his arm he stated that he didn't know who he was <laughs> and that caused problems it's it's silly they're made for each other um <laughs> so she of course comes upstairs with that same attitude going on while he's downstairs trying to shake himself out of the anesthesia and she wanted to start with us which you know from reading the book Bifon had learned that a bunch of families got kind of like expelled from the heraldry 
We don't know why. Seems to be somewhat unceremonious, except for one family. Pretty much everybody just kind vanished of or vanished. Away. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Um. So she started to question us. Eventually, the questioning got to be a little bit too much. Bifon tried his best to kind of keep up the ruse, but eventually he just walked past her to try to figure out what was going on beyond the door she just came out of. And that started a long and arduous fight. We beat the hell out of her, um, managed to get the door open. Tarko managed to free himself from his restraints and destroy all the lab equipment that she had down there. And we eventually knocked her out. Um, before all of this, we did get the teleporter fixed. So once we were done, we figured that the best thing to do was to get the hell out of Nil. And so we are now back in, uh, what was it? Cortisol? What was it? The Corsicals. Now we are in the Corsicals. I'm sad. Which is <laughs> somewhere in between the two areas that we were. So, uh, yeah, we're a bit of a walk from Vinefell Creek. And we could probably take a ride back to the uh, guild and everything. So hey. that's where we are right now. Big old fight. We're probably not going to be welcome in Nil for a while. <laughs> well, it could, it could, you know, in other houses, it could be seen as quite a incredible and celebratable thing that, you know, he gave the Erinzal twins what for. Um, but if the Erinzal twins were to find you, it could be a problem. And also the cat exploded into many little cats. Oh. I have a letter for uh, Acelia <laughs> uh, to, to send it to her. <laughs> That's right. We do need to go to the post office. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Darian has one job today. He's like, I don't care if like the enemies find us, if the big bad finds us, like gotta send a letter. Okay, and that is where we left off. Take your D6 inspiration, beef on. And don't I forget, I think one. I was gonna say, I think all of y'all have at least a D10 of inspiration at this point. Hooray. So use so I, use so inspired. Use, I don't it. recall. I know Rubes is working up some. You, okay. I gave Danny. I gave you one either last week or the time before that, I believe. Okay. For something. <laughs> Let's say everyone has a D10 of inspiration. Okay, right. Thank you. Yeah. If you don't use it today, it is gone. They la they they last one session. That is it for now. Because I keep giving inspiration and it just it doesn't always go used. Inspiration is fleeting. Because there's no reason to use it. You don't have We're, a cheater. That's fair enough. That. We're stockpiling it for a rainy day, you know? <laughs> for for moment. the next uh, dragon. Yes, yeah. thank you. <laughs> now we can <laughs> tame <laughs> her. <laughs> use your inspiration for it. Mm -hmm. I'll see. I'll see how I feel. Persuasion. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to just personally persuade me at the end of the session. <laughs> All right. I mean, it makes so. up for not giving us a level eight. I just love the silence that followed. I wish. That. Anyway, a dragon. You, I wish you could. Yeah. So, fourteen dragons and an <laughs> elder brain. <laughs> Like, if you could see... We'll be the, fine, we all like, have inspiration. If you could see the line of, like, between level 7 and level 8, and you're, where you guys are on the progress bar, you wouldn't, you wouldn't keep asking. 99%, let's go. <laughs> and every time you ask, it just... It just somehow goes down a little bit. I don't know how oh, it goes no. Man, how'd that happen? Weird. Oh. That's mm -hmm. crazy. But where we left off, you uh, teleported to a very sunrisey um, building in the Corsicals, knowing that you're in the Corsicals, a coastal city in Udash. And as you teleported in, you saw this kind of very, it's very early morning, maybe five, half five, six. 
And if you if you want to be real specific with the time, roll a survival check. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's not necessary, but if you really want to know, you can roll. Um, but you do see, um, other than a couple of guards at the entrance of this kind of dome-shaped building, um, yeah, uh, Danny, pfft. time worked different here. So annoying. <laughs> I know. I'm just. It's definitely morning though. I'm um, so confused. Sun, sun risey. Yeah, the sun's rising, so it's morning. Um, you, told me, you told me to roll. I roll. I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's fair enough. Um, so yeah, you see these guards kind of um, wearing this slightly more. Uh, warm appropriate armor kind of more leathers um and bits of metal rather than full plate metal and the heat does immediately get to you because as well as just the pure darkness nil is also quite a cold place it's quite frigid um there's a comment in there about tarquin and azilia but i'm not gonna say anything um <laughs> they warm up every room man and uh, as you appear, you see a kind of very sweet, fawn-like uh, creature the other side of the room, um, kind of in front of these desks, not dissimilar to other uh, kind of city halls, um, with the little booths where you can either bank money or send letters or any of that. Although most of those are empty, um, there is this person kind of posting th things through these little booths. And as you appear, they turn around and, Oh my gosh, where did you come from? <laughs> um, and you the, see they this are very... a fawn person? They are. Um... Have we have we met one before? Other than Camellia? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was like, just looking at Camellia on the screen like... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, she does have slightly longer anklers, antlers, anklers, um, anklers, anklers. Fuck. <laughs> bottom foot. <laughs> That's her. She, the, the she has anchor. decorative ankle bracelets that are little antlers, uh, and she also has longer antlers on her head, more deer-like than Camellia's little croissants. Croissants. Um, thank Camilla. you. <laughs> and uh, she has kind of a, a almost um, light strawberry blonde color hair um, that is neatly done in a braid. Um, she looks to be some sort of uh, worker at this establishment, at this building, but possibly kind of um, more on the uh, customer facing side of things. Camelia. What? Is that your mother? No, you've met my mom. Okay, is that your sister or? I. It's just me and my mom. You've essentially met my whole family. Look at that lady. She's just like you. I don't. Not all dear people know each other, Ludo. You don't know that. You don't know that. Mm. Uh, it's your cousin. I don't. Can I help you all? Um, Do you know her? Point at Camellia. No, I I don't think so. We we weren't expecting anyone in here for a while. Are you from the Bay Wild? Neil. Um, I mean originally. Hmm. Is there many uh, dear people? I'd never met any before in my life. I mean, we're we're all over the place a little bit. Not massively common. Oh, see, all over the place, Camellia. Of. Wow, good job. Mm -hmm. So, uh, can I ask what you're doing here? I'm um. Sorry we for weren't... the intrusion. Uh, we just came in from Nil. Uh, the Trans, uh, uh, what are they called? Transport pads or something? Teleportation stones. The teleportation stones uh, just got fixed up, and we just tested it. Right. Um, 
Well, I might need to send some uh, communications to Nell to more properly alert us if there is a customer coming in. Um, we haven't had anyone manning that portal for 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 a while a while now. Um, are you all okay? Do you need uh, water or food or anything? Um, is that your child? And Kinry just looks at her and goes, "No, I've never met these people in my life." Oh my god! I've, yeah, we uh, take him in a bridge. A, a, a bridge? Yeah, this one. Oh, I see. Um, have you been kidnapped? Kinda, uh, huh? Kind, kinda, yeah. Okay. Um. Should we, I go get the, the guards or something? We were tasked to find him because he was missing and now we're heading to Vinefell Creek to bring him back home. Okay. Does that story correlate with what you think, young man? He, he shrugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you see her kind of put two fingers to her forehead. Um... Everyone roll an arcana check. Fuck it. You only need an 11. Oh, no, I don't do arcana. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Talking, she's got a headache. Are you alright, lady? She's, she's just been overcome with a migraine. <laughs> Hang on, let me get the game log up. Uh... Yeah, it'd be fun. It seems she might have a headache. Um, uh, Camelia and Danny, um, y'all know that uh, she is casting message to Kinry. Uh, I'm, I'm just, and she kind of stares at Kinry, and she just kind of nods. Okay, I got that cleared up. Uh, what do you mean? Am I? Is that a bone sticking out of your shoulder? Uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, there was a little accident. Do you know if uh, someone can patch it up for me? A, a little like Did that happen on the teleportation stuff? Oh no, I was uh, fighting a chair. <laughs> what are... uh, if, if I may... Uh... <laughs> you see her, like, look away for a second, just trying to put together that imagery in her head. Why, why were you trying to fight a chair? Was it an animated chair? Why, did it, did it come to life? No, but it was very hard wood, uh, if you know what I No, I mean, um, and it was hard to, to release myself from it because I was being tied down. Some things happens, you know. So, okay, so the child got kidnapped and you went to go and find the kid and you found the kid and you brought him back but while that was happening you got kidnapped and now your arm is sticking out the back of your arm yes pretty much it's pretty good my giddy goodness you all have had a, a couple of days huh uh, I've had worse don't worry I'll be fine I just need to put the bone back inside that's all well, yeah, I, 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 I would, um, I, I would say so. Um, oh, one more thing. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, can you please uh, send this letter to Neil? Oh, um, y y yeah, of course. Uh, who is it addressed to? To Asilia Erensau. Okay. How do you spell that? A H. G and I don't know Azilia I didn't sell. You got it. Perfect. H. Um. Do you know where uh Azilia Erinzel lives? At what she, building? She lives in a very big house of uh, one of the Herald families uh, of Health. So uh, you should uh, find her very easily. She might be angry, uh, so be careful, but uh, don't worry. Well, I'm not delivering it personally, sir. 
Oh. Well, whoever is delivering it, uh, you should let them know. Shall I put handle with care? Yes, yes. I'll put but handle I, with care. I made a little drawing, so maybe that will cheer her up. Okay. Um, can I look? Can I see the drawing? Uh, yes, of course. Here it is. Please. Can I share describe. it on the screen? <laughs> she she would cover up the the content of the letter for herself while she looks at the picture, but let's see if I can get it on screen. Hold on. <laughs> oh, um, is that a is that a picture of? Who yes, that is a self portrait. So it it will become oh. very valuable, and I hope it could cover the costs of all the things that we broke. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a roll. <laughs> now, I have, I have to say, um, I I feel like I recognize that name, Riordan. Demon Prince? You're a demon prince? Uh, yes, uh, all the Riordans that you will meet are demons. Remember that. Wait, what's your surname? You were here real recently, weren't you? I am Riordan Orichalk. The master no. of sciences and herald families. No, you can't hide from me, sir. I'm afraid you can't hide from me. You're you're that Riordan from um from Ash Sky, aren't you? In that big uh in that big accident that happened a few weeks back. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I'm back to Ash Sky now. Oh, you're a hero. Uh, this is what happens, you know, I cannot just stop um, being a hero. Why are you grey? Why shouldn't I be grey? It's a beautiful color. Wow, well, why no, are you I'm grey, not, my I'm not. Wow. No, I'm not, I'm not judging. I, it's you just, I'm pretty that? sure you were red before, and uh, you had a different voice, and y you had horns. Huh. Can you believe this? No, not at all. That's crazy. Well, I'm about to be level 8, so don't worry. I'm just changing a little. What does that mean? Nothing. I've been training. <laughs> Do you have, okay. like, an airship here? If we want to go to Bindpel Creek? Or, like, oh. uh... Somewhere well, else. What? Well, usually I'd be able to give you the tour of the airport with all of the airships and everything, but at the minute, we are completely full. Like, there is no room at the airport for even a goose. Well, we are not the goose. Oh, no, I know you're not a goose, sweetheart. I, I, can, I can see that. But, um... With the uh, new renovations and the support for Ash Sky and the accident a couple weeks ago now, there's just, there's not really much outward travel at all, unless it's for supplies and more workers. So you might have to resort to, uh, Stables, which are real good. There's a whole variety of horses and stuff you can you can uh, rent. Okay. All right. Wagons, or uh, I know that's less ideal than air travel, but it's uh, just what we have to do sometimes. Well, uh, how long until it's not full? Oh, I don't know that. You'd have to ask, uh... Well, geez, you'd have to ask one of the royals. Although I do believe the kings are holding one of their, uh, questioning ceremonies today. Have you been here before? Well, <laughs> Riordan, obviously, you've been here before. If that is you. Um, but, uh, have the rest of y'all been here before? No. Mm-mm. 
Okay, so, so. Um, are you aware of our noblesse oblige, the uh, royal rulers of this fair city? Noblesse oblige? Yeah, the noblesse oblige. What is noblesse oblige? The noblesse oblige is the group of leaders that rule this town. Well, of course Royals. I know that. <laughs> yes. Of course you know that, yeah. I appreciate you asking some of the, you know, some people don't always want to ask questions because they feel feel like they'll look stupid, but that's not the case whatsoever, you know. Um, and, you know, I do a fair bit of tour guiding, so I, there is no question that's too stupid for me. Uh, well, we don't really have any business here, uh, unless you have somebody who can fix his arm. Oh, of you? course! Absolutely! We've got something to accommodate anybody. Look. We are in the center of the world, you know? You dash, yeah, we're on the edge, but it's not a far flight to Garage or Alaska. I am not good at the pronunciations of those places, I apologize. There's uh, a Garage? Ben, no, it's Gural. There's a way of saying it, but my uh, verbiage does not permit me. I've always struggled with it. Oh. A difficulty with the accent, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It, it's a very acquired accent up there. Um, but I, any of the desert continents, you know, for Van, uh, Bok Fero, Tauldron, they're not far flights away from here. So okay, we get well, people from uh, all around. So we have all kinds of accommodations. You need temples? We got them. You need the non the uh, non the uh, the one with no god attached to it. We got one. Non-denominational. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, never mind. <laughs> okay. We probably just, have uh, a temple for them too, though. <laughs> if you could or just show the... us to a healing place. And then probably where we can get some horses, that would be perfect. Of course. Uh, do you want breakfast or anything? Because it's still a little bit early for things to open, but... Or I can just show you the places now. And then uh, by the time the tour's done, they might be open. What do you guys say? You want to get a breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm always hungry. Let's, let's go. All right, what kind of breakfast do you fancy? Do you fancy fish? You fancy kind of more baked goods? Like What's your specialty cakes? here? Oh, our specialty, we do have breakfast fish tacos. Mmm. And, uh, there are other places that have their versions of a, uh, of a tomato salsa kind of vibe. That's we it, I'm moving to the city. We have, we believe we have the best because with our access to all these other lands, we've combined all the recipe, we've tried all the flavors, and we know how to make the best tomato sauce. Bet your bottom dollar. Okay, please uh, point us to a restaurant that has your finest tomato sauce, and then uh, let us know where we can find the healing later on when it is open. Okay, uh, what is your budget? Just to check. Are we looking like real fancy? Are we thinking slightly less fancy? Well, we recently got Something like a hundred gold, food. right? Oh. Looking at Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yes, um, anything within that would be fine. Like as long as we can feed all of us. Oh my, you certainly look like a gentleman of elegance, let me tell you that. Oh, thank you, thank you. I try not to show off too much, but it just can't be helped, you know? Oh, it can, but I appreciate the effort you've gone to. <laughs> All right, so, uh, we can go to one of the slightly better places. There are some real fancy places around here, let me tell you. All right, let's, uh, follow me! And, uh, she leads you out and you see... Um, in the in the picture on the stream, you're pretty much in the center dome building just next to the bridge that goes off to the left. Um, and she leads you across that bridge and you see um, one side of it kind of leaves off towards this airship port that also connects to the adjacent cliff. And just 
crowded, <laughs> just overcrowded with huge airships from all different flags, all different nations, uh, organization flags you don't recognize, some you do, um, just the different nations and everything. And already, even though it's so early morning, you already see a lot of people kind of working and unloading and reloading stuff. And uh, a lot of people getting orders barked at them under the now rising sun uh, in the, this morning. And uh, you, uh, the gal is leads this, you. <laughs> is this one of those mythical cities that never sleep? It, not quite, um, but with the supposed busyness that this gal mentioned, um, currently there, you know, overtime is, there is a lot of overtime happening. <laughs> I gotcha, okay. Um, and uh, the, gir the girl does turn around as you're crossing over the bridge and you kind of see, as you look out to the sea, um, these kind of stone, almost cylinders, almost... Um, rectangular structures uh, poking out from the ocean some a lot taller some shorter um, a lot of them connected with like rope ladders and rope bridges um, you see like some cats napping on top of a couple of them um, some birds nesting in the little windows and stuff they seem to be like really ancient ruins um, jutting out from the water as you kind of look around and ahead of you the other side of the bridge, just a labyrinth of these kind of beach-washed white buildings, um, some dome-shaped, a lot of flat roofs, um, multi-layered, multi-leveled, stairs down, stairs up, stairs across, bridges over, um, a whole huge variety of um, architecture. Uh, and you can see it's probably very easy to get lost here, um, but when you know the way, you know, if, if you find, if you get lost, you just go up some stairs and look for what, the place you're looking for and hope you can get there. It's like one of those uh, optical illusions. Um, but the uh, Fornish woman turns around to you as she leads you over the bridge. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Parsimon, by the way. It's uh, very good to meet you. Danny the Dapper Dwarf, and he extends his hand to, to shake. She shakes it vigorously. Oh, excellent. This town has manners. <laughs> she, I mean, she is a tour guide. It's, it's her, her job to be polite. <laughs> and uh, the rest of y'all? Yvonne. And he gives her a, a hoof bump. Oh. I see you. <laughs> been a while since anyone's done that to me. I appreciate that. Everyone's all with the very politeness. I don't mind the politeness. I prefer it to the rude people, you know. But the very kind of earth, I like that. I'm Luto. Hi, Luto. I love your hat, by the way. Oh, thank you. I pull it up to reveal friends who also pulls up his hat. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Is that a little seagull? Yeah. <gasps> That's incredible! Are you two best friends? Uh, she's my son. Oh, by the way, friends, uh, you've been so cooped up down there for so long. Go uh, get laid, and I'll throw him up into the sky. <laughs> just like a, like a weird Pokemon. Yeah, it really is just like a strange Pokemon yeet. Uh, Get whether late. whether friends wants to or not, friends is yote out uh, towards the cliffs uh, where many other seagulls are roosting, uh, none of which have hats on. Um, well, he's gonna be the belle of the ball. Oh, there is absolutely like a mini sode that's just friends trying to make <laughs> friends with seagulls while he's wearing a hat, and he's not like the other gulls. He's not like the other girls. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> oh I need God. that on a shirt! I need that on a shirt! I'm not like the other girls! And it's friends winking. Friends, Somebody's working on it where as have we speak. Been? Nobody They're knows. so mad at their popularity. <laughs>
Um, so happy right now. Okay. E. <laughs> Doesn't matter if the rest of this session is shit. We have that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh good. Um, so that so so that means I can stop trying. Okay. No. <sighs> never never stop trying. Oh, uh bye bye friends. <laughs> um I I can't speak for the other seagulls here, but uh He's a cutie! That's your son? Yeah. Like biological or No, I capture him, like this one. And I'll pat Kenry on the head. Mm. <laughs> Uh, you maybe don't go around telling people that you captured a child. Huh. Just, just as a FYI. It's not like a great look. Oh. You know, I don't want y'all to get arrested or nothing. <laughs> no, we're not gonna get arrested. It's fine. Okay. Just the guards are on real high alert with all the extra traffic, so I'm just, you know. Whoa, just warning you while uh, while I think about it. Um, all right, wonderful. And uh, what's your name? Looks to Camellia. Oh, I'm uh, Camellia. Nice to meet you. And this is Winnie. What? Is it Mini Winnie? Yeah. Winnie, Winnie. Do we throw Winnie off, off the cliff and tell Winnie to get laid? <laughs> Straight up in the air. Get laid. Fro frogs are not saltwater creatures. <laughs> just, just splat. <laughs> yeah, just a little puddle, Winnie. Oh my goodness, is that a frog? Hi, little Winnie. Yep, that is a frog. <laughs> Um, may I ask where you're from? Cause, uh, you know, resemblance and everything. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm from the Court of Extravagance, and you? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I'm from, like, the Fey Realms, but I left there when I was real young, so I mostly, uh, I used to live here all my life, so that's been pretty fun. Had some time in Osprey as a little orphan, you know, doing all the things. It was part of this, it was crazy actually, I was part of this little like theater society thing. Just with all these orphans. And we would do like plays and get lots of money. Get can I, heckled a lot. Can I roll like an insight or something for that? Yeah. See if I, see if Dan Danny knows anything. Is she one of the OG Osprey of the Theater Society <laughs> orphan? That's a seventeen. What what it what exactly are you trying to suss out? I'm just trying to see if based on her description of like the society she's part of, if I would be familiar with that at all. Or if it's from like a part of the day oh. that I have no idea about. Um the Osprey the Osprey. Osprey and the Osprey. Uh, Orphans Theatre Society are both um, Isafrayan um, things. Uh, as for oh. the actual oh, Feywild, so that's not a she doesn't know where you're from. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, in that case, I just wasted a good roll. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you want to vibe check her about with that 17? Um, like if she's being truthful, if she's telling the whole truth. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's just like, is... Is she is she good people? Is she like, or is there's is this yeah. a person we're gonna have to watch out for? She doesn't genuine. She genuinely doesn't seem to have an ounce of malice towards any of you guys. Um, she's definitely a little bit on edge and frazzled because of the increased traffic from more people coming to the city than usual. Which is understandable, um, yeah. But she's also been tour guiding around here for seemingly a long time. She's got her spiel down, she knows things about the city, she knows what things to take into consideration with the people she's tour guiding. Um, so all things considered, she's doing a really good job. And yeah, she's not like... She's not something to worry about, explicitly. Come on! Let me do! <laughs> yes. <laughs> a crow flies overhead again. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's not a seagull. 
<laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. Now I'm even more suspicious of them. <laughs> no! Why? Why? But, um... Yeah. That's, uh... What she, what she says. And, uh... As that happens, she continues uh, leading you over the bridge into town and you kind of very much stay towards the um, the beach side of the cliff and buildings as you're wandering through town oh, she, forgot, see... she forgot to ask a certain someone oh, who, who he is Tarquin is that's Riordan oh right for our <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. I, I'm. I. I kept forgetting the last couple of weeks, and now I'm like, I'm fucking gonna lock down today. <laughs> uh, if he'd have boarded up, she'd have questioned. But he, 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 he. Um, you start to see people like setting up their uh, market stalls and shops, and kind of opening up their curtains and lifting up little. Um, what are they called? Little gazebo openings to their shops, um, so that the sun does not burn them. Um, uh, like, I was gonna say like stalls that with with like little roofs or something. Yeah, the little yeah. awnings. On yeah, awnings. that's a good word. That's the word I was looking for. Awnings. Um, and yeah, uh, you eventually get your way to. A place just very simply called the cliffside. Um, it it doesn't seem like the fanciest establishment, but it is kind of compared to some of the buildings you've walked past. It is like a little bit nicer in terms of decoration, as in there are decorations and there's like a couple of potted plants outside. There's some like really beautiful uh, woven rugs kind of lining the walls with different patterns and from different like nations and continents um and as you go in um it's there's no windows it's all very much kind of open plan so you can still experience the sea breeze uh but there is the shelter of the uh stone above your head and kind of the skeleton of the building and uh you all kind of take a seat at this um table and benches with plush cushions they're not gonna make you sit on just stone ass benches and not have a cushion underneath and um parsimon uh goes to the bar and kind of chef area where you can see them cooking and orders you all some fish tacos for breakfast I was about to ask if this was the place that served the fish tacos. It is the place that serves the uh, fish tacos. I am, I, I, this is my favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> and you do have a lovely, gor just gorgeous view of the sea um, and the ruins and kind of the uh, dome-like buildings that you came out of, which you see now. There's kind of the initial dome-like building, which has all the kind of post office... Um, very much town hall side of things and then behind that and behind that Parsman will go on to explain um, so behind what we came out of the town hall um, leads directly straight into the palace which for the most part is open to the public there are obviously rooms and areas where you are not allowed and they are heavily guarded but like I said once every week or so uh, they'll open up one of the grand chambers and uh, people can queue up and ask or talk to the kings about anything they may want or feel or uh, any queries or concerns that they have. Um, most of us have spoken to at least one of the royals at one part of our life. Uh, they still hold this grandiose feeling, but they really do care about us. Um, and, you know, we're still... Also recovering from the uh, first wedding of uh, Lady Marina and Lord Wilbur, which was... Oh my goodness. Were any of y'all here for that? For the wedding? It was no. a beautiful ceremony. It was such a beautiful ceremony. Wasn't it, uh, Riordan? Yes, of course. Uh, very beautiful. The most beautiful woman, uh, 
place in the world and uh, the royal family is amazing. Because I, I really love the part, you might be different to me, but um, my favorite part was when all the musicians came out and they had the bridge lined with water and they all just flowed down doing their dances from the different countries and nations in celebration. Uh, what was your favorite part? The competition. The competition? Yeah, before. Did you see that? Before? Yes, uh, before. Um, I'm not aware of a competition that happened here. Uh, no? No? We we were there for the for the wedding, right? Or y'all were on Ash Sky yeah, while saying, the yeah, wedding but... was happening. Oh, okay. But then they came to Ash Sky to celebrate. Yes. So it was kind of like it was gonna be like a double-barreled wedding. One oh. in her hometown, one in his. I see. I y'all see. y'all were there for the after wedding. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But the after wedding never quite happened because gimmick. I know that, because I've always been here. Always oh, ruining exactly. stuff. <laughs> uh, she's gonna roll an insight check. She's not fully. She's not fully, but oh, you're all good. She got on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What was this competition? She's a she's uh, a Leorgan? sweet, non-suspecting person. Yeah, we must she really is. Her it, with our lives. It fits for her. She was like, you saw for a second. She was like squinting trying to remember this competition and as uh, at the moment where you're like oh fuck is she on to us she's like tell me all about that and she almost looks like more angry at herself for not remembering <laughs> uh, you know every time there is a very important wedding with royals there is a uh, you know, contest and competition and people doing you know some battling some Swimming, you know, you name it. Right. Well, I mean, that's really good to know because I... I, Well, I feel really embarrassed that I forgot that in front of you. (laughs) Well, at least you got to see the most important part of it, so don't worry. No, but, you know, you you all put a lot of effort and energy into planning the weddings, and... I'm, I'm sorry for the disrespect. Oh, not in respect, don't worry. You can just bring me some uh, tomato sauce and we call it even. Don't worry. You're right. I will I will get on that for you. You are very right. Um, and she heads over to the bar really quickly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you are all safe to talk without uh, Parsman for a moment, should you wish. Uh, I think I'm tired of pretending being a lot of people, you know, guys? <laughs> yeah. Why are you doing that? Kind of wondering why we kept up the act after we got out of nil. They ask so many questions to me, I don't know. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. okay. probably because of, le- of that le- letter, you know? Uh, yeah, maybe. That, but, well, it's a risk that we have to take because a city is going to be very mad at us, you know? Well, Tark, when you write that letter, is it because you have a feelings for her? No, she wanted to have sex, but we didn't have time, so no feelings there. Oh. Ah. It's too bad. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I couldn't do that. You guys were <laughs> too busy, and we wanted to go home, and Camilla was feeling sick, and I can't just, you know, say, well, whatever, guys, I'm going to shag. I cannot do that. Well, maybe next time. <laughs> yeah, I'm a good friend. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's at this point that Parsimon comes back and she uh, is carrying a full tray of fish tacos and they're on these um, kind of giant seashell uh, plates, just slightly iridescent, and there are five mini tacos per plate. And they're not mini mini tacos, but they're just slightly smaller than usual, just so they can fit five on each plate. Is and... the fish uh, grilled or battered and deep fried? Better than deep fried, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ludo <And>, approves. <laughs> so does and, Danny. And she brings out three bottles, glass bottles, of um, this what appears to be because ketchup is not 
you know, conventionally a word used in Isafre. It appears to be this kind of very pulped down salsa tomato, almost a tomato soup looking mixture um, in these glass bottles with various herbs and um, oh, just these various herbs visible uh, throughout it. There you go. Give those a try. Knock your socks off. <clears throat> oh, and this one's a bit more spicy if you want. And there's one that's just slightly more orange and bright than the other sauces. Alright, well, Danny doesn't hesitate. He starts, he reaches for his first fish taco. Yeah, we dig in. Yeah. Drop the taco in the sauce and then pick it up and eat. <laughs> well, the problem is the, ke the ketchup, the sauces are in glass bottles. So I am going to need dexterity throws. Oh, I break the bottle. I don't care. <laughs> 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 this taco's extra crunchy for some reason. Mmm, mm, tasty. <laughs> like blood. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what do I have to do? You roll? all just. <laughs> Danny, Danny is not a, 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 a sauce d dipper kind of eater. He's just eating the tacos without any oh. sauce. Slice, sleight of hand or acrobatics, we'll say. Oh, acrobatics, this is going to be fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's a 26. Let's wow. do it. Tarquin, just like a fucking mixologist, <laughs> but with ketchup, <laughs> just like flips it under an elbow, catches it, like lands his, rests one arm on the other that holds the ketchup, and then just uses his other arm, even though in its very broken state, just uses, uses it as a way to tap out the sauce and just flips and magics as much ketchup out of that bottle as he wants. And does the same for Life anyone else who wants some. <laughs> uh, Tarquin, can I get some too? Sure. Look, this is what you got to do. But uh, don't take too much. It's going to be bad for your health. <laughs> just gives everyone else a really shit amount. <laughs> just like real tiny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bare minimum. Uncle. I, you can buy these sauces as well, you know. They uh, have a few by the side to sell. Uh, Ludo will try some and be like, hmm, buy it. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> Ludo doesn't want to admit it. It's an 8.5 out of 10. It's pretty good, mm -hmm. but I mean. He's, he's memorizing it. He's analyzing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roll, uh, <laughs> roll. Deconstructing it. Roll an intelligence My dice strong for suit. me, please. Right. Plus your proficiency bonus. Because food. Alright, this plus three. Nice. It's probably some tomatoes in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's fish in this. Well, that's an intelligent save. Just a straight intelligent roll. Not intelligent save. I mean, they're both plus chance. zero. But I'll re-roll it if you want me to re-roll it. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to go by that because you know. It's, it's... I think it's accurate. It's not intelligence isn't Ludo's strong suit. That's fair. Yeah, there might. You're not sure. You're like, there is a fourteen percent chance this has tomatoes in it. Uh, it'll take some further research. <laughs> um, right. Well, um, yeah, you guys enjoying them? Uh, these are really good. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yum, yum, yum. And you all. It's like. Between bites, Danny's just like combing his beard, making sure he's not getting any crumbs in there. You know, just. I really want to get you to roll an acrobatics check just to see if you get any in your beard or not. You know what? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> you said you said acrobatics. Food juggling. Yeah. I think that's fair. Uh, it's a it's a twelve. 
I make kill roll really important. Um, it's it's almost completely clear, except for one bit that's a bit more, just with the the sauce that goes into the taco itself, a bit saucier than you'd like. But it's a fairly big bit, so it's not hard to get out. It's like Dan, it does he take talks some for Danny, a little while, for like thinks, thirty seconds, and there's just yeah. a piece of lettuce just swinging that yep. eventually falls off. <laughs> Bifon's just watching it. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 Danny thinks he's doing like a really good job of it, so he's he doesn't know it's there. So like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like cast a little fucking mirror image, and it's just like you can't see it because it's green like his beard. <laughs> it's camouflaged. Mmm. <laughs> that is delicious. <clears throat> I appreciate you guys bringing me here. Don't worry, I'll pay for myself. But no, 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 we'll cover you. It's the least we can do for the for, for, for the kindness of you bringing us to this place. Well, if you're sure. Thank you for joining us. I mean, hundred gold, you know, for tacos is. Nothing to sniff at. And uh, you do see um, just a human waiter, very plain white apron, white shirt and trousers, uh, bring over the bill, um, which says <laughs> six lots of fish tacos, 100 gold. Is that per or total? total okay that is an exorbitant amount of money <laughs> they really got it's it's tacos. worth it though this is delicious <laughs> not my money <laughs> technically not mine either yeah yeah mm. although like we might have to have a conversation to get our story straight because i don't know if uh mama mama Amelia would approve of this kind of expenditure <laughs> How much was it? She gave you a hundred gold, right? Yeah, but it's well, there for, goes all of it. It's for necessities, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not gonna have this breakfast. was necessary. <laughs> I needed yeah. this. Yeah, Mark has got point. It depends on the expense report you submit. Mm -hmm. It's not like there's an entire fraud department in your company. Well, and when I, I mean... say it's not like there is, there absolutely fucking is. <laughs> All right, Danny, pay the man. Danny hands over the sack of 100 gold. So I need to remove this from my inventory now. <laughs> Did not last long. Parsimon leaves a leaves a tip. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for the mail. Very much appreciated. It's no problem at all. Danny, like, grabs the last of his tacos to eat. <laughs> and while you are in sunlight for the next 48 hours, you will get plus 1d4 to any damage you deal. Oh, dang. Any total start, damage you deal. I have to start write, writing this down. Have you made any notes this campaign? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, I have the weird counter that you keep me have you keep me track of. Oh yeah, you gotta have that. That's important. Uh, so notes. Let me get it here. So I have like a D ten of inspiration. Mm-hmm. And then one D four of extra damage, you said? Yeah, for the next two in game days. Okay, Persimons. Uh you think the healing place is open now? Uh, there's only one way to find out. And I'm sure they'd have a... <sighs> mm. You see a look crosses her face as you're kind of beginning to walk back through town. Um, I don't mean to pry, Riordan. Um, are you still, um... A demon? I... I... Well, you're never a demon. Um, not that I know of anyway, but, um... Uh, are you still affiliated with any 
deities. Uh, no, at the moment, uh, no. Um, oh. I am my own god, yes. Your, your own god? Yes. I look myself in the mirror and I say, Oh, you look so handsome, you're so powerful. Okay, self-affirmation. I like that. Yes. Everyone should do that. God is a strong who word. You are. Yes. Okay. Um. Wonderful. I just wanted to check because if you know, depending on your deity, you want to make sure you're not undermining them by not going to them for healing, depending on who it is and everything. But that's fine. Um. I can show you where the temples are as well if needed. Um. But let's go. And uh, she leads you through town, kind of walking for. 10 20 minutes or so you have uh, plenty of temples here oh we have a good amount do you want to know what all of them are uh, just one you have a temple for esmic <laughs> esmic yeah she she gives you a big nervous smile you mean like thousands of eyes and thousands of wings esmic yeah <laughs> Oh, you're being, are you being This guy, worse? and I'll, uh, I'll pull up my sleeve and I'll do like a little, I'll show a little handmade tattoo I made, kind of squiggled poorly oh by my myself. Oh <laughs> Just drew on with pen. Yeah. Like, while you were at the, uh, Aaron Zell house. <laughs> Incredible. Oh. That, I mean, that's a beautiful, uh, uh drawing. Oh. Thank you. We... But yeah, I haven't uh, been to a temple of his yet, and if you have one, it would be nice. <laughs> um, no disrespect, sir. Uh, we do not have an Esmic temple here. Uh, ah. We do have... Uh, we do have... Let me just check here. Um, she gets like a little ba batch of notes out from her back pocket. Uh, that is right. We do have the uh, oratory for people of all faiths and uh, religions and beliefs. So if you want to go and pray to Esmic there, uh, you can borrow a uh, a small tabernacle and pray to your deity there. Okay. Yeah, point us to that uh, when we're done, please. Of course! Um, and for any other interests and purposes, we have uh, temples for Sorifalsia, Harpesh... No, it's okay. Uh, I just, I just, so I'm just doing Feeling this feel. Sober I'm here. sorry. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. Alright, yeah, screw Harpesh. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, she leads somewhat slightly less jovially uh, leads you over to a <laughs> building <laughs> um, leads you over to uh, trying to cut you off from every opportunity to talk about your stone god they're, they don't <laughs> they don't yeah. have no, a we'll temple never here we'll never know <laughs> <laughs> Rude ass. Damn. <laughs> um, both shits and giggles, but also actually, uh, roll a d8 for me, please, JC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's for what kind of dragon it is. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you in trouble? Yes, please. You in trouble. That is a four. Four dragons. Oh, it's a crystal one, right? No, it's okay. No, no, no. That um, that oh. is good to know. Thank you gonna note that for later <laughs> cool um you head over to what appears to just be this ordinary building um and you see that the shutters and doors are all closed there's a washing line kind of draped outside uh with no laundry on it oh well, this isn't a good sign and knocks on the door. Are you there? It's me. Got a customer. If uh, if you're about. Hello. 
kind of puts an ear to the door. I don't think anyone's in. Okay, so maybe do you know how to fix this? Uh, well... I can open the door. If you're... Oh, no, we don't want to uh. break in. <laughs> we don't want to break... We don't want to break in. Um, if your uh, friend will allow me, um, one of the other temples might actually be able to help. Okay. Um, if... If there is a preference, um, she kind of just nervously looks at <laughs> Ludo. Um, <laughs> in terms of the temples available for general prayer, we have the oratory for anyone and anyone of any faith. Uh, we have uh, we have Diwa who's available to pray to. We have. Ecalypso, we have Angaya, we have uh, Daruk, and Sorifalsha. Uh, in terms of those that could heal you, I mean, she does owe me a favor. I think we should go to the Temple of Sorifalsha. Uh, my friend uh, Elwyn works there, and she owes me a big favor. Um, Roll a religion check, everybody. For sort of false New God unlocked. Sort of false <laughs> Went to the Corsico's and not good as <laughs> Do you do? It's nothing personal. There was genuinely not a plan for there to be anyone in that house. Just so you know, it wasn't me just being like, "Fuck you, fuck you, Jesus." It's what you get for rolling a four. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we haven't got to the four yet. Uh, oh my god. Oh. I, I was I, I was joking, but like, yeah, just... that's okay. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> the I like four being mind ominous. players. I don't purposely get to be ominous every now and then, all the time. Um, so, Tarquin, Camellia, Ludo, so, 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 barely even remember the name. Um, however, Bifon and Danny, you've both been praying. Y'all have been going to church. No, um, how would you know this? Um, Bifon, I'd say you'd know this just from... Your travels, meeting the people you have, um, hearing people cry out to their gods for various reasons. It would maybe have come to your attention, piqued your curiosity. Danny! I'm sure it's come up in my paperwork somewhere. We could just go with that, maybe. Yeah, I think it, it's... It, in the many, 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 many pages of the Isafrayan, um, what's it called, um, like, potential issue report, uh, things that could incapacitate you that you should be aware of, like, including, uh, stray pieces of rope that block a pathway that you could trip over and die to or get strangled by, uh, there is an entire section on deities and, like, which not to fuck with too much. Um, or at all. All of them are there, but uh, it gives you like some really detailed descriptions. Um, Sorifalsha is, you would both know, to be a deity of the tides. Um, renowned for being brutal, uh, but in a way that is often the path of necessary change. Um, so you need to be quite stoic in your belief of Sorifalsha, because otherwise the tides may just sweep you under if you're not ready for them. It's kind of the vibe. As with all of the deities, there's different interpretations and diff there's there's not just like a deity that's like, deity of fuck you, fuck you man, fucking hate your shit. Um, it'll be like the deity of fuck you, but they also bring you pizza when you're sad. You know, there's always at least like <laughs> some he's balance so he's, to he's... a deity. Basically, Poseidon. Mm -hmm. That kind of vibe, yeah, she is. Yeah. 
but her name's Sora Falsha, and she's Sora, so, so queen. Falsha. Sora Falsha. Sora Falsha, and she's queen. I'm yeah. gonna butcher that name later. I just want you to know. That's all good. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't worry. Some of the names I have got uh, written down. Um, I'm gonna make a note. She, her. With the pronunciations, Sora Falsha is not one of them. I was like, I'm gonna remember that. Um, in my mind, somewhere in the past, I'm like, Sora, Sora Falsia. <laughs> like shit. Um, but yes, um, beef one you would know as well. The tides, quite brutal, but often the path of necessary change. Um, mm -hmm. So one must address her with sure footing. What is um, what is dead may never die. Well, what is dead will probably drown under her tides, but um, yeah, sure. That's, you know, she'll make them float to the top after. Bloat. Oh, <laughs> there's something there probably. Um, but yes. Um, the two of you would recognize. Uh, the two of you would recognize the name. Uh, the others, alas, would not. Uh, do any of y'all have any of y'all heard of her before? Mm hmm. I the name rings a bell. I take it the blank expressions from the rest of you are no. Well, that's okay. I don't know. You know, she should be able to heal you. And, uh, you know, you're a pretty solid guy. You know, you don't break easily. You're pretty stoic. So, um, yeah, just don't, I mean, don't go. As doubt. long as I don't have to sell my soul to some god or goddess, I'm all right. No, you don't have to sell your soul. You just need to lie. All right, that's work. Just don't, don't crumple under the pressure let's call it uh, pressure all right um, let's meet felicia let's go ah uh, okay sorry fat sorry false yeah uh, sorry for felicia let's go okay uh and you begin to head kind of towards the back side of the city um kind of more towards the fields and the plains uh that line um the usually line the coast of uh, Yadash, um, Tarquin, which you're very familiar with. Um, very sunny coastline, um, lots of plains and grasses before it kind of moves more inland into the forests and swamps and such like. Um, not crazy far out though, just on the outskirts of the city. And uh, as you approach, you see this um, kind of connected directly to one of the river channels that flows into the sea. Um, this beautiful, pristine um, building um, kind of covered in different uh, plants and uh, flora just kind of dangling like a lot, yeah, a lot of hanging plants and um, flowers. Uh, decorates it and again like a lot of uh, this city very open plan um, with a kind of more closed chamber towards the back um, and the um, as the river flows towards the sea the doorway to this temple opens and you see various um, people in these very loose slightly more translucent than you'd think uh kind of turquoise shimmery um gowns slash robes in a way that they are draped fabrics with um kind of platinum colored belts tying them together in different shapes um so you do see a little bit more than you're expecting uh should you look closely um and all these people are very peaceful and um, tending to the different water lilies and other flowers and um, kind of fish in this part of the river which flows all the way through the entire temple and uh, Parsimon gestures through for you all to go through and you see it opens up into this large again very dome shaped uh, temple building a uh, lot of just every wall of this temple is stained glass of blues and deep blues, turquoise, cyan, 
uh, aquamarine, just all these beautiful reflections. Um, and then the roof, the domed roof is kind of just lifted on these little platforms of stone, letting some of the natural air and breeze from the sea come in. Uh, it's very airy and very light, but the water and the depth of colour of these stained glass panels gives it this kind of gravitas as well, this undertow representation of the sea. The kindness, the light, but also the depth and the danger of the sea in Twain. And as you enter the slightly echoey hall, uh, you see a blonde elven woman, um, kind of just past her shoulder length hair, uh, wavy, if not slightly um, beachy from the sea salt, um, kind of tattoos around her face with various water-like depictions, um, a mass of jewellery on her and around her chest before it kind of layers down to this slightly lighter blue gown. And um, as she looks towards you all, you see her sclera, normal, normal colour, but her pupils are just this bright turquoise colour. And she has this almost resting concern face, <laughs> if you will. Just very gentle concern, but um, she sees you walk in. Ah, oh, Parsimon, I see... You've brought friends with you. Ah, uh, hey. Yeah, we, um... We have a friend who needs... Fixing? Oh. Ah, uh, well, uh... Do you want me to wait outside? I should probably wait outside, right? You guys got this. Um. Yeah, you owe me a favor, Elowin. So, if you could, uh... Sort, sort my, uh, friend out here. That would be wonderful. I'll wait outside. Because, uh... Yeah, this place always makes me need to pee. So, I'm gonna... I'll see you guys outside, alright? And, uh... Just kind of... <laughs> thumbs behind her and... Uh, walks outside. And just kind of waits. Jenny also chooses to wait outside. Okay. Uh... <sighs> Well, uh, welcome, you all. My name is Thaumaturge Elowin C. Castor. I am the, uh, well, the Thaumaturge here of the, uh, Sorafalshin Temple. And you see she kind of reaches out, um, and it, it would appear that just from the way she reaches out and just the brightness of the pupils of her eyes, which are the most illuminated thing in this room, um, that it would appear her sight is not fully there. Um, as she kind of goes to reach towards Tarquin, but doesn't quite make it. Uh, uh, lady, do you need help? Oh. And she kind of finds your shoulder and very gently places a hand on it, barely touching it. I could ask you the same thing. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, I am injured. You are badly hurt. What happened? Uh, well, it's a long story, but uh, I was uh, doing a lot of effort and I got injured. And now the bone is sticking out and I need to put it back. I see. Do you embrace the sea? Uh, wait, what? Do you embrace the sea and her curative powers? Uh, sure, yes. She kind of brings her hand back to her side. This will be possible to fix, but you must not doubt the process, 
for it can be as damaging as it can be restorative. All right, I'll take my chances then. Good. Know that you are in good hands, whether you believe in the lady or not. I will heal you. She's going to roll an insight check to see. Do you believe in the sea that is new? Uh, do, do you believe in the, in the sea goddess? At least in terms of healing your arm? I believe it exists, but I'm not a follower. That's fair enough. You don't need to be a follower. Um, she only rolled a two, so she doesn't. She literally can't see if you are or not. Um, okay. <laughs> she, she would look in your eyes and be like, ooh. This guy doesn't seem fully about it, but she doesn't know. Okay. I need you to sit in the center of the river. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. um, you see the river kind of flowing through the center of the floor. Um, kind of steps going down either side. And you're able to wade in uh, to the center of it and sit down without being fully pushed over by the water kind of lapping around you. Are you ready to be strong? Oh yes, I'm always ready to be strong. Okay. Uh, your friends may encourage you with words as this process happens. And you Go all team. see, <laughs> you all see <laughs> as this kind of torrent of arcana starts to build around the room, kind of almost swirling around, riding the circular nature of the walls within. Um, her gown begins to kind of flutter, Your all of your clothes begin to flutter in the... Um, raising wind and tides of magic and air that are channeling through from the open doorway uh is this okay tarquin you're gonna what is it you're gonna become a fish <laughs> uh, no, no i don't feel scaly now I okay but they're gonna use a fish magic to fix your arm i have no idea but let's see what happens Okay, good luck, buddy. The wind continues to build and build. And as it does, the you see you all see as the river becomes faster and faster and more torrid, more textured and more rapid like. Tarquin, I'm gonna need you to make I'm gonna need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. That's a 16. That succeeds. Um, you feel these waves kind of slowly buffeting you more and more as you just kind of sit and this water reaches um, just above your um, chest and you feel the urge to just lay down and succumb to it, but you stay strong and just flex your abs and just take the brunt of it. Yeah. You and as that happens, you begin to feel the cold of this river kind of wash around your body specifically and almost numbing the arm that is injured. You're almost there. Stay strong. May Sorafalsha be kind to you. I'm very strong. Very strong. Uh, you see as a larger wave begins to form at the edge of the room and begins to make its way towards you. Please make a strength saving throw for me. I got the seven. Okay. 
that's less good. Uh, the wave kind of hits, and you feel the water kind of get in your nose and in your eyes. <laughs> over your body a bit. Thank you, goddess. Friends, you may need to help him. Uh, how can we help? Encourage words of wisdom. Lend him your strength. Uh, okay. You got this, Tarquin. You're the strongest person in this group. You mean the planet? I mean, I mean the world? Exactly. Yes. Ah, uh, you're gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. As the wave kind of washes over you... ...for a second... You're in a dark space, a familiar dark space. And there's a mirror in front of you. Once again. And you kind of try to blink away the water and every time you close your eyes you see a different one of the figures that was standing there before. Do not falter! And you see the magic swell once again. And the river begins to flow even stronger and even higher, kind of reaching your shoulders now. I'm gonna need you to roll a strength or a constitution saving throw, please. Let's go again. That is a 22. Oh my god! Nice. Hearing your friends believe in you. <laughs> Not quite knowing what to say in the situation, but still trying trying their best. Uh, you find the strength to stay stoic and stay strong as the water just keeps buffeting you. This would be enough to knock any regular person off of their feet easily, if not drown them. And lose them under the water. And the magic swells one last time as a wave washes over your head and lays you down in a now much calmer, much lower river so that the water isn't going over your face but it's just lapping at the sides of your body. Um, you all see this kind of almost glittering coral effect this texture around his arm and his shoulder where the bone was once sticking out and as he lays in the river after this huge wave this coral kind of clings and moves around the bone and around the flesh and pushes the bone back in kind of weaves the flesh back together, almost sews the wound shut, and as soon as it's gone, it comes out and just lays at the bottom of the river, and you see, as Elowin goes in, um, and she'll help you up, Tarquin. As you feel, you feel physically quite tired um, from trying to resist that pressure. But you currently don't feel any pain. What a relief. Thank you so much. You did well. Very well. And... She hands you this kind of obscure piece of coral, very hard, kind of the skeletal form of coral. And as she does, there is something deeper within you. What do you mean? 
She gestures behind her and you see lining a wall there is, there is this um, kind of mosaic made of these bright corals that sticks to the walls and obviously with each time the water rises it gives these corals the nutrients and the water they need. They are all colourful and alive, vivacious and vivid in colour. And as you look at that one she ha she handed to you, it's hard and slightly turquoise and then just overcome with what looks like a black rot or some kind of disease that has killed this coral. Almost petrified it. Alright, so uh, this is for me then, I assume. Do I keep it with myself? It is up to you what you do with it. But it is or was a part of you. The healing ceremony uses your own strength to heal you. And while your strength was there, it's the your that was put into question. If a changeling were to come in, in a form not of their own, they too would have an abnormal coral. If one with amnesia fed the lies of a past life they did not live, were to come in and be healed, they too would find their coral to be abnormal. I think I understand what you're talking about. Maybe one day it will be clearer. I hope so. Do not be burdened by it. No, it is a battle I must fight, but uh, perhaps one day it will come to an end. She places a hand kind of on the center of your chest. You must let it rest sometime. One day, I will, but not now. Sometimes the coral must learn to trust the rock it sits upon. But I understand. it must seek food from another source. I appreciate what you're saying. She'll nod and back away. Thank you. And, uh... Tell your goddess that uh, uh, I appreciate it as well. She is you. Thank you, you have 10 Darwin points. What is a Tarquin point? Uh, it's, it's something, uh, don't worry. It's like a favor, you know, you, you gather a lot of points and then I help you. Something like that. Oh, I see. Very valuable. 
Meanwhile, is Tani saying anything to Parsman while they're outside hearing just the waves of water increase? Oh, yeah. Um, and... <clears throat> it was very kind of you calling in a favor to help my friend level like that. Oh, wouldn't be a very good tour guide if I didn't. <laughs> oh, so you, you do that for everyone that, that needs aid that visits oh. the city? Well, no. <laughs> Uh, most people don't really share much with me, so... Makes... well, some of my friends are very open about their lives. Were you about to say that makes sense? No. <laughs> Inside check! <laughs> no, I really wasn't. I'm just... <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, well... It's nice to have a group that are as friendly as y'all are. I appreciate you saying that. Can I ask, though, what happened to Lord Riordan? Danny kind of hesitates to answer that. Um, well, we got into a bit of trouble, and my lord was uh, essentially captured. And he injured himself while trying to become free. And that means he's not red anymore? <laughs> oh. That I do not know. I don't know what and, that's uh, about, to be honest with and, you. And the horns? This may be a question better to, to ask him. She, I You think. can tell she's purely just out asking out of entire curiosity yeah. like she's bamboozled <laughs> Danny can't come up rather with rather than accusatory with, yeah it's just, it's like, I mean he, and he's answering as honestly as he can it's like he really doesn't yeah. know or even like if this is the <laughs> or even if Tarquin I... really is Riordan or if it's just a name to like Danny's getting yeah. increasingly Danny... confused as this goes on <laughs> Danny hasn't met Riordan like this is something we must remember as well <laughs> yeah so he's he's just kind of winging it, and be like, I I don't really know. It's um. And since I wasn't know. there from the beginning. He was there the whole time, but ah. it doesn't mean he met Riordan. He was ah. just outside the whole two time. different things. Yeah. Yeah. I was... But what about the smaller nose? Because like Tarquin's got like very, you know, neat nose. Did she just I'm say? Not... You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, Riordan, I just want, to, I just want to make sure. has a... I was reading your last comment and it was distracting me. Riordan has, like, a really... He used to have a bigger nose, I thought. It... It, it makes I mean, me wonder if... If, um... Something happened to cause that change, or if he can do it himself. I... Since I since I've known him, he's been as you've seen him today. So I really I really don't know. No, well, something must be going on if he's like in hiding or something. But why would he be going around using the same name? He should probably use a different name. Uh, you you would think. I was about to say maybe he's just incognito, just wanting to travel without a fuss. Should I but tell you're him right. that? You're right. Should I advise he's... him? Very, yes. Uh, just kind of try to slip it in casually in the conversation, you know? Just, okay. like, excuse me, sir, you know, just... <laughs> Should I be calling him sir? Well, that's entirely up to you. Shoot. I just I just tend to be overly polite, you know, with, with people I don't know, so I just... I kind of assume other people are the same, but what, what whatever oh. is the custom here, you know? And how, how long have you been working with him? Hey, DM, I have a question. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, how long has Danny been, like, off and on traveling with the group now? Because time Nil works makes a little... Nil complicated. Yeah, and Danny Nil... returns to the Fae, you know, time works differently there, too, so I... Nil definitely makes things more difficult. It's been approximately within two weeks couple weeks uh, if Neil works at a mostly normal time oh, that is 
I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, maybe two to three weeks now. I haven't, I haven't known him for too terribly long. I see. What do you think's going on in there? You just hear like hear the buffeting water. Oh, I'm hoping whatever it is, it'll help out his arm. It's been in a rough state with it for a little bit now. Hmm. Seems it. I think we should be good to go in in a second. Uh, I'll I'll wait until the noise dies down. I... Yeah, it's not long before the noise dies down. And uh, you both kind of head in. And the group re reacquaint itself. Ah, uh, everybody. Oh, oh, the bone's gone. Well, I mean, I hope it's back in your arm. <laughs> Riordan? Yes, uh, it's all good. Thank you. Um, this was uh, very helpful to me. Now I feel better. Hey, look at that. Your arm is back. Yeah, and it seems like, uh, you know, all the everything that uh, this woman did, <laughs> it fixed everything, so... Yeah, nice. one, one less thing to worry about. Thank you all. I'm glad it worked. And I got a Tarquin point, though I'm not sure what that is or what it's for. <laughs> oh, very oh, rare. Very rare. Yes. What is a Tarquin mm -hmm. point? Danny just, like... He... I'm assuming that Danny's like kind of behind her at this point. Yeah, like, just, just a little, just a little bit out of behind. Spite. Yeah, yeah. He just very subtly like face palms. Like, oh my god, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't heard of them before. Is that like? That's not like a black market thing, is it? Gray <laughs> market, oh, good one. <laughs> Gray market. Yes. Grey and silver, yes, that is it. Grey and silver market? Yeah. What, is, what does that mean? I, like, I like you guys, but I don't... I have to report any, like, illegal activities, and I don't, I don't know what the grey and silver markets are. Uh, don't worry, it's something that will be uh, useful in the future, not now. Okay, but you didn't tell me about it. If it comes up, okay? I'm on a way. Oh. Alright. Wait, so you know, Parsimons, when them? you're hanging out with us, you just have to understand it's mostly jokes, you know? It's all just jokes. Oh. We say things for funny, for laughs, lots of inside joke. I got, I got you, I got you. Um. Okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just, just for jokes. No, so what do these actually do? <laughs> um, Elowen just kind of looks at her hands like <laughs> there's some semblance of points that she now owns and she doesn't quite understand <laughs> what's going on with them. Uh, they something I can redeem? In the future, yes, you will. But don't worry now. It's all right. When, but when I, I, I will remember you? what your help. What what can I redeem them for? Prizes or gift <laughs> vouchers? Uh, that can be arranged. Don't worry. Maybe I can bring you some glasses. You seem to need that. Um, no. My eyes are pretty much useless at this point. Ah, I'm sorry. That was rude of my part. My apologies. It's fine. I dedicated a little too, well, a little more of my life than planned to Sorifalsha. And I was not as strong my first time. So that means that could have happened to me? Oh, I did say it was dangerous, did I not? Oh, all right. <laughs> Tarkin's like, 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> I got my eye back. Now I lost my eyesight. Nice. <laughs> no, you've still got your eyesight. It no. could have happened. Look, guys. <laughs> yeah. Guys? Who turned out the lights? I see now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who got darkness? <laughs> oh. Well, I must get on with my duties, but it has been a pleasure to meet you all. Thank you so much. Thank of you. Course. Thank you. Take care. Right, uh, where to next? We have the stables and, uh... Oh, you still wanted to go to the, uh... Oratory for anyone of any religion, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Darkwing. Yes? You know, this lady, she's here by herself in her temple. She did you a big favor. Maybe you got a, you know... Some kind of gift or something, some kind of offering, something. Do you think I owe her some uh, action? Ah, well, if you like, but I was thinking maybe she needs some money to help run the place. I don't know, you give her a little bit, oh, some kind of offering to the god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Uh, I think I may have something, yes. Yeah, she deserves it, sure. Yeah. Excuse me, um, uh, I don't remember her name. Um, sorry, Palcha. Uh, so, sorry, Palcha. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Please tell like sorry, a... Palcha. Oh, me? Yes, you. Um, I know you cannot see very well, but this is truly... I'm not, I'm not uh, saying anything wrong here. This is gold. So please accept this. A gold coin? Uh, actually, this is 10 gold coins because uh, oh. I am very grateful. Well, thank you. I will give these to Lady Sorafalsha as soon as I can. You can throw uh, them into the river at the front should you wish to donate them to her directly. Uh, yes, but uh, actually, uh, half is for you. Oh. Um. You see, like, this red blush just kind of crawl up her face. For I want to give her a hug just to make her more uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, um... I... Um, Thank you so much. You are very sweet and I like you. So, I'm sorry about your eyes, but uh, I hope it gets better soon. No, 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 it, it's fine. It's usually... <laughs> It's usually good to tell someone when you're about to hug them, especially if they are afflicted with such ailments as I. I just hope to know you to know that uh, I like you and that you are good, and I hope that you use this gold to buy yourself something pretty, like a dress or something, and uh, thank you. Oh, is the current one not satisfactory? <clears throat> oh my god! It's a little wet, but it's, it's alright. It's also just the tiniest bit <laughs> translucent. I'm not saying that I'm you should get out of that dress. No, no, no. I, I mean, it's just a gift. I... Oh, she's pretty. I, I see. Um, and... Um, you see? What? 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 Sh what? <laughs> really? No. Um, it is a turn of phrase. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, what was your name? Sorry, I... Uh, but, well, between you and me, don't tell anyone. My name is Tarquin. Tarquin? Yes. But I, I only said... tell you this because I like you, so don't tell anyone. Okay. Um, well... Tarquin? She, she says the well out loud and then just, like, real under her breath, like... Yes. Um, what would you suggest I buy as a with this gift? Um, um, you can buy some tasty food, or you can buy some clothes, or I don't know, something I... that's gonna be helpful for you. I have just not really received a gift until now. Really. Everything. Oh, that, that is too bad. People should give you gifts. 
Oh, everything goes to the Lady Sorafal Shepherd. Oh, no, 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 no. I you deserve stuff such too. Kindness. Um. <clears throat> but do you promise that uh, you would use this for yourself and not just for Lady Falcia or something? Oh, yes. I just, I'm not sure what to get. With what, it. Whatever you want. I don't, um. What makes you happy? Praying to Lady Zorofalsha. But is there anything else that you like? Water? Well, you can buy yourself a glass of water. And a lot of water. Maybe a pool, I don't know. Pool? And you can just enjoy the sun. I see. Well, I shall have to think about this. Yes. What would you get with the money? What? Me? Mm. Oh, I will buy a lot of things, you know, fancy clothes, some maybe tomato sauce, or maybe weaponry for my travels. You're an adventurer. I've been around, yes. Well, the money that goes to Lady Sorafalsha will see you safely on your way, should you travel oceanward. Thank you. But oh, really, thanks. do something for yourself, all right? Don't, don't, don't just think about everyone else. You deserve some things too, you know. Thank you. I have not known such kindness. Well, I hope you know more about that, because people should be kinder to you. Well, people are not cruel. I am just overcome with feelings. We took a fucking picture for a minute. What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> <Hold up. laughs> <laughs> just thought I'd take a selfie while you're there. Is it a goo picture? Yeah. <gasps> Yay! Horsey. He keeps licking me. Oh. Uh, but yes, please be safe on your travels. And should you need anything else, you know where to find me. I will. Thank you so much. Hope we meet again someday. Of course. Sir. Darkwin. Yes, Darkwin. Hmm. She smiles, kind of from ear to ear, and uh, tries to resume her more stoic appearance. Uh, DM, I have a little question. It's just a uh -huh. little question. Yeah. This this <laughs> gift she gave me, this uh, little coral with corruption kind of stuff. Yes. Um, how big is that? Um, it easily fits in your palm, the palm of your hand. All right, I will make a necklace with that. Thank you. Aww. Oh, how it's nice. very prickly necklace. <laughs> oh, incredible. Incredible footage. Wait. Tarquin now has two problematic faves and one unproblematic fave. Maybe Just gathering them for when I have my kingdom. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Not all the concubines is just going to yes. be a crystal dragon. <laughs> a zillia... <laughs> Elowin yeah. <laughs> Seacaster and Nerimal. Just all the <laughs> all, all the women. <laughs> oh god. Incredible. Anything anyone else want to do while we're at this um temple or nah? I think oh. we're done. Oh no. tank. <laughs> that is enough. And with that, nope. we have technically hit the halfway point somehow. Holy moly. Oh, dang. Oh, well, if uh, Tarquin could oh, yeah. just Duh. walk out of there, I was waiting for that. Because I have something for Tarquin. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Go for it. You will begin to leave to make your way to the next set of temple. Sweet Tark, now that you got your arm back, I've been holding on to something for you. Oh. What you have? What what is it? 
got you a new staff. <gasps> staff? Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. The staff of small bird calls. Oh. Yeah. And not only do you have a staff, <laughs> but when you finish beating the shit out of somebody with it, it will make a bird call. And you can even use that cape that I gave you, and it'll flutter, and it looks so fucking cool. Um, is this my birthday or something? <laughs> You've been Actually, through a lot. Well, I think well you thank you. It. Thank you, Bifan. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's I... just a regular staff, but it's got a cool bird call thing, so I thought it was a little more flashy than yours. Bird call, you said? Bird calls. Like it calls birds? It does a bird call. What it does beyond that, I don't know yet. <laughs> I shall consult with friends then. Thank you. Sure thing. Well, it, the fun fact, uh, this wooden staff is decorated with bird carvings. It has 10 charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend one charge from the staff and cause it to create one of the following sounds out to a range of 60 feet. A finch's chirp, a raven's call, a duck's quack, a chicken's cluck, a goose's honk, a loon's call, a turkey's gobble, a seagull's an owl's hoot, or an eagle's shriek. Oh, it's gonna be chicken sounds all day. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, oh I didn't God. see this last part. Oh, uh, Tarquin. Um, <laughs> yes? Don't give up your current staff just yet. <laughs> uh, Apparently uh, this uh, <laughs> explodes on its final use. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, all right, I'll try to be it's careful. A, it's a harmless cloud of bird feathers. Don't worry about it. But uh, you will lose it. So hopefully you have a backup. <laughs> I got you. Thank you. This isn't a good day. I like this. I will add the staff <laughs> to your inventory. Staff uh, of small bird calls. There we go. There it is. If you refresh your character sheet, it is now in there. Oh my god, it's <laughs> automatic. <laughs> I got you, buddy. What oh, a great Jordan. service. Thank you so much. Oh, look, I'm level <laughs> eight. Oh, no, that's oh, not. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> cute. <laughs> the I went backwards. That's crazy. No. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and on that note, we are going to go on a quick beer bang. Go get some water, some snacks, whatever you need. Draw some fan art of Elwyn and Tarquin. Um, gonna have a bay off. You know what? I might put a bay off poll in chat. See who's coming out as Tarquin top bay. <laughs> <laughs> America's Damn. next top Tarquin bay. Top the dragon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you gotta be the dragon. Though. That's not that's not easy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! But yes, thank you for joining us this far. We appreciate all the raids and support and the follows and everything. Um, uh, and uh, we will see you in ten to fifteen minutes for the continuation of Tales of the Swamp Valley. Uh. <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>
I need to turn this track up. During the break, uh, Val learned how old I'm turning tomorrow, and the sound he made, I think, added another 10 years to my life. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, there's a number in the sound he made. Was... Again. Oh. You're just, you're just, oh. gonna, you're, you're just oh. gonna open up with that, huh? You're just gonna, like, <laughs> throw me under a bus.
You're like, you wouldn't <laughs> believe the sound Fal made. It's the exact <laughs> thing that happened. It was a no it was a noise. I caught splash <laughs> damage from that shit. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. If you add all our ages up, um, you get a number. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm with I'm with you so far. Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> I don't know why. I just assumed I was the oldest person, so it's nice to, no. not, to not be. It's nice to not be. Yeah, no. it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, Life having a good stops. time. It's, it's, Everyone uh, dies at age forty. Look, <laughs> oh my I'm, God. I'm, in Falm's world. Look, I'm like breathing more deeply now. I'm about to go on a jog later. This is this is great. Yeah. Dude, rubbing it in while he has COVID still. Yeah, what do the that. Hell? That's a good idea. <laughs> Should do that, Val. Oh my I will. God. I will. We're I'll starting strong. I'll, I'll do it for you, JT. I'll do it for you. Oh Thanks, my God. Bro. I mean, though, <laughs> Ludo would canonically, out of the characters on screen, be the youngest. Mm -hmm. So, really? Yeah, because huh. he's fucking human. Yeah. Just, that doesn't mean say fucking human. <laughs> but isn't it like a new level of sad when you're like the oldest person playing the youngest person? No. Thank you. Let's begin. Where uh, were we? After the poll, <laughs> we back learned to tales of the Turnville. <laughs> Happy birthday, JC! <laughs> It'll be a happy birthday. It'll to be you. <laughs> It'll be your British birthday soon. Are you excited? Oh, tip of the hat to you <laughs> on the Barbie. <laughs> no, <laughs> amazing. Ten out of ten. So close, then yet so far. For also, the record, I would have guessed younger, and I've only ever adjusted because I knew you had kids. Oh, thank you. That's it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Some of y'all no, are you younger than my daughter. Oh. No. Well, I mean, you're welcome our back to Tales of the Torvale. <laughs> when we last left our heroes. <laughs> Um, also, Danny, remember the thing. Remember the thing, Danny. I'm trying. I'm trying Danny, real hard. Remember the thing. I'm trying. Okay, cool. Um, after that ominous message, but, welcome back. You know, my 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 elderly brain may struggle a little bit. I swear to God, <laughs> if you start so acting happening. older, I'm gonna give you fucking the exhaustion to match. In another year, you get parasites. <laughs> yeah. I can't wants... wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Uncle Jing Chong was so old, he had permanent level 5 exhaustion. All right? <laughs> that you're, guy you're was old. You're your breathing. Wait, wait till your that happen in real life? <laughs> look, it's already... already happening to Val. Look, I... Look, you, like, he you jokingly deceased. say that. You jokingly say that, but I've already bought my cane. I'm ready. <laughs> you, it's cool I'm to have a cane. Ready. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just have Val. a cane for the fuck Val. of it? What's up? Val. Exercise. <laughs> but I gotta stream though. This this music is <laughs> accidentally really good for this chaos shenanigans. Okay. <laughs> if you got snacks and drinks, let us know what you got. I got water. Um <laughs> Nice. Oh I forgot hey, to get the water those too. Oh my god. You get that with the dark one points? I've got water and some Kit Kats. Ooh. Oh, Kit Kat, that is I delicious. Mm. Mm. I like Kit Kats. Um, but tell us what you got, and thank you again, V, for all the subby words. Very much appreciated. Val was very excited to get Roly Poly Frog after he stopped. Oh my being god! Ageist. I've been so jealous <laughs> for so long that everyone was using Roly Poly but me. Oh, it feels so good to be able to do this. Thank you. Like, you don't you don't even know. I really Thank appreciate you, it. it very hold on, much I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I don't know Hello what Becky's doing right now. Mod love, mod love, Scorpio and Twy. 
No, oh, I've, I've exceeded the character limit trying to do this. <laughs> I'm just trying to spam that many frogs. Hold on, roll let me back, roll back, roll 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 back roll this up a little bit. Cool. Doing roly polies, everybody roly poly in the chat. Yeah. All right, where we left off, Tarquin has made a new unproblematic fave uh, in the thaumaturge of. <laughs> I fucking forgot as well. Falcia. Uh, Sore Falcia. Um Sore Falcia, the goddess of the tides. Um and uh Bifon has just very kindly given Tarquin the gift of a staff of small bird calls as opposed to a staff of large bird calls, one can assume. Maybe a staff of larger bird calls. We don't know. Maybe there's one that's just ostrich calls, but we'll never know. Bomb um, somebody on the head and it'll make a duck noise. <laughs> Quack. Quack. Oh. <laughs> the Wonderful. layers of quack. <laughs> Incredible. Um, and the group are making their way to the um, what uh, Parsman that Fornish tour guide keeps referring to as the oratory for those without a religious affiliation. Um, uh, but there are also all different temples around town for many different deities, with the exception, one exception being Stellatia and Stalagma. Now they have a really interesting story. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Tell us all about it. No. You, d you haven't earned it. <laughs> Maybe on your birthday. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> but um, as the kind of sun is now rising a bit higher and Tarquin's arm is finally reaffixed fully, unrebroken, unre reattached, rebroken, attached, you all make your way across town towards. The uh, oratories for those without deity affiliation or religious affiliations. Oratoire. Um, Oratoire. So, uh, you see this kind of beautiful piece. This is not the music for it. I love this song. So, if you've got the music turned up, because this is a quiet song, just a warning to turn it back down, because you will be deafened. Not on purpose. It's just the way it is. All right, that's your warning. Going back into loud, louder. Um, oh God! I did fucking warn you. All right. <laughs> you can't be used to old. Hey, <laughs> what? Huh? What did you say? Oh my God! It's Uncle Jinjong from the grave. <laughs> what? 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 What you say? What you say? I miss that guy. Um, rest in peace. What? What'd you say, though? <laughs> um, so you reach Get off my this, lawn. So you reach this uh, plateaued, um, kind of higher up area of amidst these buildings and labyrinth of levels of buildings. Um, and there's like a small grassy area with... Or it almost looks like a fairly posh park um, with like a crosswalk of... Um, different mosaic panels leading to all of these different small shrines uh, for various deities. And at the center, standing tall in, you guessed it, a open plan, uh, open walled, dome shaped building, as is wont to happen in the Corsicals. There's a theme. Uh, you see <laughs> uh, the non denominational oratory. Um, or again, as Parsimon points out. Okay, we're here. This is the uh, oratory for those without a refri refrigerator. Yeah. Now, silly huh? me. That's not a I thing. I have a fridge. A ri oh, but you have a fridge, uh, a, a fridge denomination. Yeah. So, this is a this is for people without a religious orientation or a deity or path uh, it's okay or it's just need a place to talk to my god yeah 
absolutely. Um, it seems like there's a bit of a queue for the, uh, for the peaceful halls that you can just borrow to pray to whomever you so wish. Um, it shouldn't take too long to, uh, empty out, though, so I will meet you out here. I'm gonna go do some praying of my own. Um... Oh, okay, which, uh, which god do you pray to? Oh, I don't. I'm I'm gonna pray on potential future clients to do a tour guides for. Oh, have a nice. Oh, I will have a nice. You have a nice, too. Um, and you... <laughs> do you all join the queue? Do you all just kind of... There are some benches and stuff around, so you don't all have to, like physically join the queue uh you guys Danny are welcome to do join me if you want i'm just gonna talk to esimic a little bit oh i'll hang back okay i'm, I'm good thank you and danny has himself a sit down bifon's just kind of gonna lean against the pillar close enough to just stare a little <laughs> yep. bit at ludo see what, <laughs> see what happens All right. yeah I'll, I'll be around too if you need anything just scream Okay. Thanks, Barry. <laughs> so you're all kind of just on the light, like the outer linings of the walls as Ludo joins a queue that kind of goes through the center of this building. Yeah. And uh, very high ceiling, very beautiful and elegant building. Um, and uh, Ludo, you see in front of you in this queue are four people. Um, how odd, how funny. Uh, the first person in front of you. <laughs> revenge. Um, <laughs> oh. I take my revenge very petty and very subtle. Um, That's really funny. <laughs> uh, the first person you see in front of you is a, a very curly, um, kind of reddish brown haired uh, human man who appears to be very nervous. Just kind of darting around, just very impatiently swaying side to side. You okay? Oh, 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 man, uh, yeah, 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 I'm great. Yeah, so good. Oh, um, yeah. What's the matter? Yeah. Oh, I, ju I really, really, <clears throat> really need to talk to you about my, my, um, I need to pray really bad. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? That? No, I don't think so. Well, um, well maybe. maybe. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, um, I... Uh, for, first, first, one second. I will, uh, oh. bust out a cookie. Um, he can roll a perception check if he likes. There is an eye of Essamic baked un into the bottom side of the cookie. Like one made out of fondant? <laughs> like channel just like carved into the cookie okay. texture. Okay. I thought you had uh, a literal eye for I'll, a second. I don't I'll know roll why. a perception check. You roll a religion check for me, please. <laughs> I roll a religion check? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. He doesn't notice it. I got a 10 religion check. Okay. Who knows if it actually does anything religious, but it is in the shape of an eye of Esimic. Nice. Uh, oh, um. Just a little snack you. while we talk. Yeah, he takes a little, like, mouse nibble of it. Um, okay, so, um, I went to my, um, friend's, um, uh, pre-wedding stag do right yeah. mm -hmm. and um this is really good yeah right yeah that's a good yeah. batch good batch and um so we were gonna um well i went to go and pray to um Desirandas because you know we were going gambling um and i wanted good fortune right uh -huh. um well i got i got lucky you know got a fair bit of uh money um i got really lucky um i got a little bit more lucky than uh than i intended oh and, yeah good luck wow um, congratulations no 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 my wife found out and um uh i haven't been home since she found out so i don't know what to do 
you got too much money and then your wife took all your money? No, I, I got lucky in the, in the sense of um, I had an affair. You cheat on your wife? Accidentally, yes. Okay, I have no use for you, sir. Oh. Well, I thought, I thought Shame gonna... on you, sir. Please move along. Give me that! I take the cookie out of his hand. <laughs> I, 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 I hope your you god were... has more patience for you than I do. I, know, <laughs> I thought you were gonna help. I... Nope. I am helping you. No. Roll, roll an intimidation check. I will. For me, please. Out of advantage, because you big guy. Just snatch that cookie right out of his hand. Uh, I will use no, my, I will use my oh. bardic inspiration, um, I'll use my inspiration of a d10. Nice. <laughs> nice. Bumped it up to a 19. 19! Fucking good save. Um, he, he just looks at you and goes, look, I, I, I don't want any, I don't want any trouble, man. And kind you of should. begins to move you out don't of need the a queue. god to let you know that you need to apologize to your wife and do everything in your power to make things right with her. Oh, you're oh, fuck, you're so fucking right. Oh, shit. And get out of here. Uh, Take uh, out my and you, you all see as Ludo just fucking <laughs> shames this man into leaving the queue. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> You see um, a small uh, mouse folk woman, um, kind of uh, about Danny's height, about four foot, just over four foot. And um, she's kind of patiently waiting. Hello. Yeah. You like a cookie? Oh, oh they're rather large, aren't they? Yeah, it's very yes, nice. Yes, please. Oh, thank you. Reaches I, uh, one. make it for my god, Esamik. And then I show her the eyeball underneath. She spits it out. Oh, okay. Um, she's just gonna leave. She doesn't- <laughs> No roll <laughs> needed! Um, she- <laughs> She's just the tiniest, most wholesome little mouse, and she- Esamik? Fuck no. Out. Peace. She <laughs> doesn't want anything to do with it. Just- Nope. Just leaves. <laughs> Didn't have to spit my cookie. Yeah. She just has like a little. She just has like a little handwoven basket and like a little handkerchief around her head. Like she was just proper, just sweet little little mouse lady. Just nope. Um. Have a good day. <laughs> we <Boy> said. <laughs> um. Next up, you see. <laughs> you see an Earth Genasi. Um, and it appears that up to, um, from, like, uh, his wrist up until his chest, like, the whole left side of his chest, um, has been stuck in rock somehow. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What does it fucking look like? Looks pretty painful. Yeah, it is. You, uh, need some kind of healing or something? Um, yeah. That's why I'm in a queue to get healed and pray to my deity. Okay, well, Don't I can't you? help you pray to your deity, but I can heal you if you like. Yeah, right. Gotta eat a cookie first. I... What do you mean I have to eat a cookie first? You eat this cookie, I'll heal you. Bullshit. Right. Okay, fine. Just takes the cookie. <laughs> takes a bite. There. Happy now? Not bad, right? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Uh, let me see. I go to uh, heal him. I have lesser restoration and I have actual healing spells if necessary. Okay. Um, He's not necessarily injured. It's just that half of his upper body is encased in solid rock. <laughs> Okay. Like how one I... solid piece of rock. How do I... What do I think can fix that? <sighs> Roll an investigation check for me. Remove please. curse? 
You can certainly try. Let's try the... Can I do a medicine check? Sure. All right. Medicine check 15. 15. Um, it it would appear this is some kind... It doesn't seem this is like a, a medical thing. This is definitely more in the, uh... The, um... Vein of a curse. All right. I'll, uh... I'll take a look at him and be like, Oh, who's your god? The stagma, stalagma? How did you know? I'm just a racist guess. I, I mean, I appreciate the uh, acknowledgement there, buddy. It's... Well, but I yeah, don't, uh, it is, you know. I don't really know them, but uh, I can cure the course if you like. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Mm. Didn't exactly feel like apologizing, you know. I uh, cast the full spell and I wait to the very last second of casting to be like, uh, SME. And then I can't finish the spell. S SME? You, you. What, 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 what are, what are you trying to do? <laughs> I cast the remove curse. By invoking SME. Just the last second I, I say SME as I cast remove curse. Okay. Um, it works. The you see the rock just kind of melt away into uh, dust and just falls onto the floor. All right. Yeah. Did you say it's a Mick? Yeah. Hey yo, I'm not gonna piss on his shrine. Pound oh. it, and he pounds your fist. <laughs> I pound his fist. Thank you. Not push. Right. Do not piss on his shrine. Thank you. Peace, buddy. Um. <laughs> Pretty good at this. All right. And uh, the last person seems to be a, a very jolly halfling lady in a very bright outfit. Hello. <gasps> it's you. You're hmm? finally here. It's your birthday. Oh, Happy my... birthday. Oh, I did not know it was my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> It's oh. your birthday! Oh, wow. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Wow! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! And many more! What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> And and at, and at that point, um, another halfling woman in a lot less colorful clothes comes over and says, oh, "Sorry, she she always does this. She was in a really bad accident. Um, she, oh she, no! She, she used to be a singer, Graham, but oh, okay. Wow, thank you. Happy birthday! It's, it's a whole thing. Yeah, just just let her do the whole thing." And, it will make her feel better. Yeah. Uh, do I think it's something that a uh, remove curse or lesser restoration might restore <laughs> her men mental there, capabilities? There, there are some, there are some ailments that unfortunately no spells can change. Well, I mean, wishing some everybody a happy birthday isn't that bad of a. Abilities. <laughs> Yeah, the, the other halfling woman just goes, honestly, you know, we get a lot of fucking cake for it, and that's great. Um, she'll probably offer you a cake. Would you like a cake? Okay. What's your name? Luto. Luto. She gets, like, a whole-ass piping bag out and pipes your name on the cake right there and puts it in a lovely, like, gift box. <laughs> Oh there you my go. god! Oh my god! Thank Happy you! Happy birthday! Thank you! Oh my god! Well, be careful! There's a no. She just looks past you for a second. Oh no! <laughs> no, it's okay. We get Happy birthday! Thank and you. The other, <laughs> the other halfling just goes. Okay, I'm gonna. This was too much stimulation for her for one day. 
uh, and kind of takes her arm and takes her out. And as she leaves, just purely at Ludo, just happy birthday! Hey, it, uh, <laughs> what's her name? What's her name? Oh, her name is uh, Misty. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. You have a wonderful happy, day. Thank you, Misty. Uh, uh, Best birthday. birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> Toots out of the building. <laughs> and with that, um, you see someone leave the leave the booth um, of the uh, non-denominational oratory. So that's six times fast. And uh, you. <laughs> Oh god, she's gonna be a fucking feature now, isn't she? <laughs> um <Yes. laughs> Good. And uh you see that the non-denominational oratory room, um, just kind of a very much uh more closed area. Uh still with a high ceiling but a lot more narrow, but with like a little place to kneel or to sit or to stand um is available and you are the only person currently at the front of the queue. All right. I go. I go in. It's empty. Sweet. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, there's just a guy in there. Like, <laughs> no, it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I go in. Okay. You can close the door behind you. And you are in this small, private, very quiet little room. Okay, if there are any lights or candles in the room? Yeah. Uh, There's um, will... two candelabras either side. Do I know, uh, does Estimic prefer darkness or light? You're usually in a very vacuous white space when he talks to you, so... So very well lit. Probably. He'll, okay. He probably like it lit, bruv. And I will. Well, so um, that your birthday candles, and then you can blow them out. <laughs> I will light extra candles <laughs> if there are candles that are not lit, and I will also cast light. Nice. On my hat. You will just see outside from outside, like just light seeping through the bottom of the door, <laughs> and through the cracks. <laughs> Okay. Esamik, you there? Yeah. Oh, uh, long time no see. Uh, if you remember, last time we talked, uh, I said I want to talk to you about something, and I figure now it's maybe a good time for that. Oh, Jesus. We can do. Would you okay. come to the abyss with me? Oh, happy. Yeah, I love it. Wonderful. And as you blink and reopen your eyes, you see once again the vast void, just this kind of almost translucent, um, yeah, this translucent void, uh, almost as if you're thousands of feet up in the sky you can just barely see landscape below you mm, beautiful and here and before you you see the ever growing wings and the ever multiplying wings of soft feathers and a strange ethereal form with as many eyes as there are wings. And if you look into those eyes, you see as many eyes as there are feathers. Uh, Ludo makes a point to look into it, and it's uh, undoubtedly disturbing, but he... It's yeah, it's a lot. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's very strange, but uh, he makes a point to look at it and not cringe or wins okay what would you speak of Esimic, do you eat it 
Tis a strange mind that asks such questions I have never perused before. No, not in the way mortals do. Uh, will you try some of this cake with me? If it would please you? Yeah. And he'll uh, pull off his backpack and bring out two plates, cut two little slices, oh give him a little wooden fork, hand it up to him. Take as his. you hand it, as you hand it up to him, it feels as though the perspective is so warped. And what is like a plate that would take you a, an entire hand to hold? Um, Esimic holds between the very tips of two of his strangely abstract long fingers. Mm. He just picks up the tiny bit of cake. Just almost kind of raises it towards his head, which he lifts, uh, tilts upwards, and the cake goes somewhere, you're not sure. <laughs> but he does something with it. <laughs> so while we eat our cake, I wanted to uh, talk to you. Mm. Need mouthful of cake. Look, uh, when I first met you, right? I needed somebody who's gonna give me forever life and uh, to me it's not important my soul uh, I, as long as I can live forever so I can be there with uh, my uh, my umber life yes you that is the deal that was dealt yes you were very generous in telling me that uh, you can give me that and all I gotta do is have faith in you. And do what is needed when the time comes. Yes. And uh, so far, you have been very generous to me. You give me things, I need it, You, I need help, you give me that. Uh, you give me information, you give me that. You've been very nice to me. But, uh, ah, uh, uh, giving you my soul forever, uh, uh, cannot be. You see the feathers rustle slightly. Go on. It, uh, turns out my umber lie. Oh, my God. Very upset about uh, me give you my soul very upset about me live forever uh, maybe she already has plans next boyfriend after me i don't know but i cannot live forever and uh for that i cannot give you my soul it cannot be the feathers rustle again spreading outward like a ripple Now, I do not like to make a deal and then immediately change the deal. But uh, that is where we are. I cannot give you my soul. But if you will have it, I would like to give you my faith, my allegiance. My soul, you can do whatever you want with me, but this I am giving to you willingly. My friendship. My worship. Huh? You are a god. You are a very powerful god. He you leans, have helped. He leans fully over, kind of his head reaching almost just a few feet away from you. This just, even it just the head itself taller 
in your entire body as these eyes twitch and the pupils all move, twitching, trying to find a place to focus on. And the whole arc of the back just spreading the wings low. And his giant arms propping him up from the ground. You would dishonor our deal. I would uh, change our deal. Our deal is you have me. I do what you tell me to because I have to. What I would like to change it to is I do what you tell me to because I want to. Huh? Before you could force me to do what you want. Now I want to do it out of love. Uh, what do you rather have? My obedience? Or the love and the worship of an honest man? You feel a pulse of air from his wings as he curls his neck round slightly. You know what I require. I require your faith. Your soul is undying faith. How can I trust your word? Just the eyes constantly blinking more and more out of time. One second, I got a cough. No worries. <laughs> Behind him, you see the translucent white slowly turn darker, just very slowly bleeding. You asked for my fate, and you have proven yourself to me. I ask now for your faith in me. Huh? Let me prove to you that a Luto who follows you because he wants to is better than a Luto who follows you because he has to. I But you can stand to gain so much. I am not just some follower, some idiot on the street. I'm Luto Bayani, huh? I'm gonna change the world. And if you like, I'll change the world for SME. You stay faithful to me, I stay faithful to you. And we're gonna make this world a better place. He twitches his head when you say you'll make this world for him. The eyes begin to blink slightly more in time. Roll a persuasion check at advantage. Oh my god, I used the fucking inspiration on a cookie. Alright. Oops. <laughs> it's all good. I finally got to use this song. I'm happy. It is a very scary song. I don't know. It's the scariest. From, but it is the terrifying. Scariest fucking game I've ever seen. Which, ironically, <laughs> is also inspiration for how SMX game mechanics work. Fun facts. Forbidden Siren. Fucking horrifying. Oh, horrifying. thank God. Thank God. 22 persuasion check. Oh. I rolled Do double ones on one of these before. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Wouldn't that have been an interesting result? <laughs> what do you think would have happened if you missed the roll? Just you rolled high enough. Zombie, zombie Ludo emerges.
You see the darkness behind Esamic retract slightly. It's, it's a dirty 22, but it is a 22. You reclaim your soul. You are forgiven for the task you are to be asked. You will be loyal. You will prove yourself. You will bring new faith to the people. You will make a world of me. And if not, one glance behind you, one step out of line, one inkling that I would betray, that you would lie. The eyes start to cry, black tears. Jesus Christ. And your soul will be forfeit. <sighs> and with one more wing beat, you are back in the room. The candles blown out as soon as your eyes are open. Okay. Ludo uh, uses the underside of his red scarf to wipe away the black tears. He didn't realize he was crying. And uh, writes his shoulders. And uh, stands up a little more straight. What was that? Fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair reaction <laughs> okay that's good it's good I think that went good right to me hello you do not hear words but you feel a gentle blink above and behind you you ethereal but more present than you are really comfortable with at this moment in time but it does not escape you that you are alive you are unharmed and as of right now and should all go well your soul is once again your own. Yay! Yay! It was just really fucking scary. <laughs> and functionally, <laughs> I'm now a cleric and no longer a warlock, right? Yay! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we well. with style. <laughs> okay, well, uh, look, I know they're mad. But I do need a favor. You're still there. You still feel something behind you. I know you like that cake. I had some too. It was very, very good. It was made by a hapling woman of this town. Her name is Misty. Uh, watch over her. If you can, uh, maybe fix her brain. Okay? 
she was supposed to be able to pray to her god but she got distracted she didn't get a chance so maybe i don't know maybe we get a new follower maybe she just gets a little help okay this is the world we're gonna make together we're gonna take people like misty we're gonna make them better You feel another blink. Figure it is maybe better than the rustling of feathers. <laughs> okay. You figure if if he was more pissed than he was before, more things would be happening. But yeah, prickly, prickly, uh, prickly deity. It was a prickly choice of a deity. Okay. Oh, am I so glad you chose him. I guess you're keeping the plate and the pork. That's fine. I have other ones. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that for next time, okay? <laughs> and he just kind of like bows and uh, puts as his you, backpack back on. As you unbow, you see just before you on the um, on the bench in front of you, you see a plate and a fork. Ah, so he finished it. Nice. Oh, that's good, right? Okay, Misty, huh? Blonde hair. Very nice. Okay, thank you. I'm going to go now. All I right. kind of uh, shake off a shiver and uh, kick my leg like I just had a real gnarly piss. And I, uh, <laughs> I leave the room. I look to... Uh, Beef on, and I look to Tarquin and I give them finger guns. Pew, pew. All good, my friend. Oh, it's easy breezy. He's the nicest guy that has a mic. So nice. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Yeah, we're all good. You got your arm back. I got my soul back. We're fine. It is a good day. Yeah, want a cookie? It's not made of sand, is it? No, no, this is a good one. This is very good. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. I have a cookie too. Hell yeah. Can Keep I inspect on. it first? Make okay. sure it's not made of sand? I certainly can. <laughs> roll an <laughs> insight check. Investigation <laughs> check, yeah. I roll it. Dirty sweaty. Dirty sweaty. <laughs> Does it have mm. any sand in it, Ludo? <coughs> Zero sand. No sand. Zero sand. Good. Thank you. <laughs> nom 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 nom. <laughs> he ommed and he nommed. And um, it was no. good. Sweet. Okay. Um, you see Parsman outside. Just trying to recruit people for tours. Um, doesn't seem to be going great. Oh, uh, you guys done? All done. Uh, Luda, you got a little bit of on your cheek. Just there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, he makes me cry black tears when he's mad. <laughs> Crazy, right? Ah, yeah, it's a mic, right? Yeah, I remember. All right. Well, um, great. Anything else I can help y'all with while we're here, or um, none of you need to roll a perception check to see, um at the side of one of the other larger temple buildings um a large blue worm w y r m uh kind of hovering almost napping outside of this building like a crystal dragon no worm like a translucent blue worm worm Weirm. Weirm. You guys do need to roll for 
Like the one I that uh, know, our one friend... One. Roll for spelling? Yes! Tarquin, Tarquin knows. It is, a f it is a familiar worm. It is the same worm? Mm-hmm. I believe all but... Danny... would know of the yeah, worm. Yeah, I have not met any blue translucent worms. Yeah. Maybe I'm not sure about it. would be around that time, but whether they met that character, I'm not sure. That would be after. We rode this yeah. to get down to the water area, right? Yep. Yeah. And to safety on fire day. And who summoned it? Roll a history check. Hmm. <laughs> that is for yeah. you or your notes to remember or know, or a history check to rely on. I Thanks. think it was Eterian, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, with an eight. Eleven. Uh, with an eleven, it began with a Y. Uh, I remember Bunny Lady, yes. Who can forget Bunny Lady? Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh Yeah. You gonna roll for it, Tarquin? I got uh, a six. Eh. Um, it's a familiar worm. You've definitely met the worm before. Cannot remember for the life of you who the owner is. <laughs> her, her name might begin with a Y. That is about as far as you get, collectively. But Danny and Camellia, y'all see a giant floating translucent worm outside one of the temple buildings. She'll just point and go, worm. I always have trouble with. <laughs> I always have trouble with her name. I know it though. Danny is definitely paying attention. There's yeah. this worm thing. But yeah. Danny but Danny also ah. doesn't know if the worm is like in any way connected to the group or if it's just connected mm. to that building. So Can he's I not worm? He's 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 <laughs> not really gonna mess with it, you know? One That's of our uh, one of our friends summoned that worm. We we used that worm during the uh the fight uh, for the horn. Something. Mm -hmm. Let's go say hello. I. Uh, oh, okay. Danny you remember, just... Danny? You were here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very clearly. Very clearly. I love Danny's <laughs> mistrust for this worm. An understandable. At Danny's height, the worm could probably eat him whole if he tried really hard. Danny is not a prey animal, okay? I didn't say he was. <laughs> it's he also it's easy to spot. Give the worm a pet. I do believe I have controlled the worm before, right? You have controlled the worm before. The, wor the worm doesn't inherently make a noise, other than kind oh. of ethereal low growls, but it does purr a little and cool. kind of looks at you and nods as if recognizing you all. Worm is cool. Worm is cool. Okay, you heading into that temple building? Uh, I guess the owner's not about. Not outside, no. The We're worm going? has been parked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's open plan again, so it's not like there's a big ass door keeping you out or anything. Oh, I was asking the crew. Oh. My bad. Sorry. I'll just be over here. Behind the <laughs> DM board. Oh, yeah, I guess we go in and look for the owner. Look for a familiar face. <laughs> Roll a history check. <laughs> I, I've, I've got it. No, <laughs> I'm not that mean. Uh, no, you see... <laughs> Um, you see a fair few different priests and priestesses and other such um, prayer-focused people. 
Um, but you do also see a familiar face, um, minus Camellia and Danny, sorry. Um, you see uh, the kind of long blue hair and hear the uh, quite definitive accent of one Yor, um, who is the Holtiger of the Espers. The group that you are part of that hunt down the false gods. Um, she is the Haltiger, the star constellation expert. Uh, but where Haltigers usually commune with the stars, uh, your communes seemingly with the ancient gods themselves. At least that's what the uh, Etherian flashback scene of, of introducing you all to the other Esper team people uh, went something like. <laughs> Um, but she's currently facing away, talking to uh, a priest there. But that is your, and outside is her room. Liam. Mm. She kind of ends the conversation and uh, turns to look for something in her bag. Doesn't immediately see you guys if you want to approach. Approaching? Hmm? Approaching. Oh, sweet. <laughs> uh, where is... And you see she's got a sending stone and she's um, kind of rubbing the emblem in it and sending the a message. Yes, you see there is just like a little engraving of um, what appears to be the Ninut sigil, that I don't remember uh. the shape of at present. Uh, it'll happen at some point. <laughs> um, but yes, um, it would appear she's communing. Iti von hom, send message to boss. I'm just um, standing in front of her doing the thing where you kind of like just extend uh, your uh, body uh, and neck like I'm looking over, being yeah. nosy, seeing what she's doing. Um, she kind of half sees you and holds a hand up like, just one second, and then finishes. <sighs> Sorry about how- Oh! Oh! What the fuck? Where the fuck oh. have y'all been? Um, God, I'm so and the priest, the priests and priestesses all look around and just- I'm so sorry. Uh, shall we go outside real quick? Cause yeah. I'm gonna swear a lot. Alright, let's go. Um, and huddles you all outside. <laughs> oh my god, you're here, like, Ludo, you're here talk. Oh Hello. my god! Uh, where the f- And as soon as you get outside, where the fuck have you all been? What brings you here? Ah, uh, I came to pray because, you know, I'm part of this little organization uh, called the Espers. You might have heard of them. And uh, we sent some of our espers on a mission, and they've been missing for, you know, casually almost a week and a half. We're espers? That's our name? Was it that yes. one? I didn't know he had a name. Oh my god. That was god. a weird place. <laughs> In the midst of, of them saying all that, Danny, like, walks up to her. Nice to meet you, Danny the Dapper Dwarf. And he extends his hand to... Who the shake. fuck is this? Uh, oh... Danny the Dapper Dwarf. I'm a little weirder Danny that the... follows us around. Okay. <laughs> um, hi. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. My name is Yor, and, uh, you are... Looks to Camellia. Uh, Camellia, nice to meet you. Camellia, nice to meet you, too. Um, so you... Are you guys all, like, clued up? Clued in? Yes. Okay, Danny great. Nods. Would have been phenomenal to know about. Um, where the fuck have you been? We thought you were dead. I only came to pray so as a last weird. resort. Oh. Uh, well, I'm glad you're not then. We got fentanyl. Right. How did that happen? So there was this gal gimmick, uh, she kind of opened the floor, earth, space, world thing beneath us, uh, 
who dropped into the void, woke up in just the worst forest in Nil. Right. But you got out of Nil. Well, we got out of the forest. Uh, and then we had a nice little adventure uh, in Nil itself. Um, and we're finally here. God Hi. Love. How are you doing? Are Hi. you guys okay? No. Man, Be that sounds sick what happened to you. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. We just thought you were freaking dead. Is that Kinry? Is that the kid you went looking for? And Kinry's just there and just waves a hand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, we did, good we job. We found job. him. Yeah, uh, no, good yeah, job. We, we did what we needed to do. And then all of a sudden, um, Pink Gal showed up and kicked the shit out of us. Gimmick? Yes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking shit. You have you have to say, like when you met your before, she rarely swore, if ever. Yeah. Oh, I'm noticing. Yeah, yeah she's very buttoned <laughs> up, right? Very serious. She's like the all business one. Um a lot for a lot for the most part. She was very, you know, just commune she... with the commune with the gods. Keep the divine purpose. And I remember track. her as the gal uh towing the company line during the competition. <laughs> And, yeah. and sponsored like... by that's all she was she was just there to being a spokeswoman oh, looking right. pretty and stuff <laughs> is it because of the breakfast club that she is now swearing and has turned to drinking drinking we don't know about drinking but um... uh i'm i'm presuming because we may or may not have that effect on people um nah. you can roll for insight to see if uh, that's the cause of it <laughs> or if may this or is may just not. who we she is have that effect how long did she <laughs> say we were gone for uh, almost a week and a half. Mm -hmm. hmm. How much did it uh, feel like in nil? Was it like in a, nil? How many, how many sleeps? Oh, like since days. since you left, You've had I think two long rests, three. Maybe? Since since you left Ninut, um, and gone to like find Fell Creek and stuff, it's felt like it's been maybe like five or six days. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Danny thinks she's always been swearing. I rolled a nat one. Sweet. That's right. Yeah. Nanute was. She's a two sailor. Sleeps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not Nanute, but uh, Bind Fell Nil. Creek was two sleeps. Yes. Yeah. Nil was like two or three sleeps. Yeah, you're right. No, the right. will, the wilds of Nil. It could have been any number of days, regardless of how many sleeps you had. It was fucking That's still pretty long. To tell. Not yeah, crazy yeah. long. Glad we didn't lose too much time. Yeah, I was ready for you to say something like years. Yeah. I've gone for five years. What happened? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't answer many questions for how how fast time goes in nil, but you're glad it's not extreme, at least. Mm -hmm. Unless you were there for like a month and it's only been a few days. You're not sure. No idea. But that's what you said was a week and a half. Almost. I think I got drunk and got Fuck. outside of that forest. I'm... Shit. I'm really sorry about Gimek. If we'd have known she was there, we, we'd never have sent you alone. Thank you, Yor. I'm just glad someone is. Do you know who she is? Care to fill us in? Well, I only know... I have not. I only know as much as a Tyrion knows when they filled us up in back on nil in no not nil fuck i'm getting all my places mixed up now in minute after yeah. the attack i mean it is technically in Yudash. um but after the event in ash sky that was her Etirin suspected it was her and told us as much as she knew which was that gimmick is bad fucking news and to try and avoid her if possible or call for reinforcements but you know that's it running into her doesn't necessarily guarantee it and that she works for the uh council in Ospra. somehow that's not a lot of information 
Well, no, she keeps it that way for a reason, I expect. The less you know about her, the more unsuspecting she can be. Fuck, you all survived, though? Uh, we're here. I mean, that's incredibly good and hopeful news. Um, and not that you encountered her at all, because you shouldn't have, and I didn't want for that to happen at all. We would have sent armies with you if we'd known. You, we wouldn't have sent you at all, because we don't have armies yet. But I don't think it would have made a difference. <sighs> You're maybe right. Well, one thing I've learned here is that she was here a month or so ago. By the sounds of uh, witness accounts. Um, I'm to meet with a man, actually, who uh, saw her. He doesn't remember many details, but he might be able to give us some more information. And he's willing to come with if we help him out. I'm really glad you guys are all alive. It's been really stressful, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry I came in so hot. Um, and it is a pleasure to meet you, Camellia and Danny. I apologize that... This was your first impression of me. Nice to meet you too. So, Are you from the Feywilds, the both of I, you. I am. Mm -hmm. We are. Uh, from the wilds or the courts? The court of extravagance. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. I can't proclaim to know much about it, but. If there's anything that can help our cause, then that would be great. If you know about our cause. And if not, uh, well, you'll probably find out about it if you know about all the things going on. So you saw Gimmick. A hole appeared and you fell through to nil somehow. Do you know, are the people of Vine Pill Creek okay? I don't know. Oh, well, I mean, we've got Kinry, so we probably should go and check. Uh, I'm sure she's... they're fine. She looks to Kinry. I'm sure they're <laughs> fine. Um, I'm not good with kids. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, he's fine. He's like a dog, basically. He looks Ooh. to he looks to Yor and goes, "Woof." Hey, he's trained. Can we keep him? Is he a werewolf? <laughs> uh, yeah, right? Can a werewolf? Shrugs. <laughs> uh, Gimmick did that to him. Gimmick did that to him? Did she? I don't know, I just kind of thought that, like, I went into the woods one time, and something happened, and then I became a werewolf. Oh no, it could have been, yeah. There is, like, a gap in my memory. Okay, well, uh, we'll go and find this man that I need to meet with. Um, if there's any supplies or anything you need to get on the way. Um, and then we can go to the stables and acquire some mounts to get us where we need to go. See if we can't find an airship in a nearby town to get us back to uh, Ninut. Because I expect you all don't want to be climbing up a mountain after having gotten out of Nil. So, um, I'm very glad you're alive, though, um, and I am sorry for everything. I'll, uh, I'll make sure you get paid for your efforts and time. Danny perks up at this, but says nothing. Um, is there anything else you've found particularly that can help us ah, I'm getting ahead of myself we need to there's too much going on we need to sit down have some time to discuss things not just bombard you all with all of this now um, I'm also probably gonna go and put some money into the uh, alms box of that temple that I swore a lot in um, yeah Oh, Gather. I thought it was for worm parking or something. Oh, no, that's free. A lot of people Good. can't see him, so. I 
help anyway. Might have forgotten to do that. Mommy, what is that? Oh, shite. Alright, well, uh, I will be right back. Uh, if there's anywhere you need to go or anything you need to do, let me know. We can go on the way. And, uh, yeah, then we'll get moving and groving. Alright. Oh. And she just turns around and quickly runs back into the, uh, into the tabernacle. Parsimon kind of inches over. I take it you won't be needing me anymore. It doesn't seem like it, but we appreciate all the help you've been. And he like extends his hand to like give her a goodbye handshake. Goes in for the other handshake. All right. Well, um, I've sent that message off, that letter off for you, uh. Riordan, and uh, if there's anything else you need, uh, you know where to find me. I'll be at the uh, at the uh, town hall side of the temple palace thing. Thanks again for the uh, fish tacos. Thank you for being such a wonderful tour guide. Oh, uh, nothing. Recommend me to all your friends if they think about coming to the course calls. <laughs> Danny just nods thoughtfully. We will. We'll do. Oh, Thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, ambles and turns around. Doesn't fully know what to do with herself. <laughs> just. Bye. Same. Yeah. And turns around to a guy. Do you need a tour guide? <laughs> oh, you live here? Wonderful. Well, you know, there might be sides and now you've seen everything. All right, bye. <laughs> and just carries on. <laughs> I, actually, I actually kind of feel sorry for her a little bit because it's like it it feels like the kind of job where, that, you know, there'd be like a central agency that would assign tour guides to visitors. But she's just like hitting people up on the street. Do you need a tour guide? I can give you a tour. If you don't. <laughs> well, they can't properly be visitors at the minute because there's so much work going on. Uh, that's so. fair. Yeah. She's she's socially starved. <laughs> she oh. needs nutrition in friendship. <laughs> oh. and just like a puppy barking at a cardboard box waiting for it to do something. <laughs> just, like, oh. and just like goes on her back legs and it's like, nope, it's not doing anything. And then just <laughs> plumps down. All right. After a few minutes, um, Yor comes out. Um, uh, all right. I put some uh, forgiveness in the box. Uh, is there anything you guys need while we're here? Any food? Any supplies? Potions? Lovers? Sex? <laughs> health? Always. But not right this minute. Okay, that's good. Um, because once we get traveling, I can't promise there will be uh, many options necessarily. Rabbit, I'm not sure. Where to? Well, ideally, Vinefell Creek. Drop this one off. Did you just call that's me this one? Uh, yeah. And and uh, then I I would still like to see if there is a Arconic well near that location. We heard there might be. Uh, so it'd be good to just triple check and make sure. Um, but if we're too tired and it's too much for this out, and then we'll head back to uh, Nenut. Or find the nearest place that has um, airship availability. Or somewhere we can uh, ask Captain Barbanus to come pick us up. I think there's like, uh. There's like some mountains that have like, uh. Some buildings up high, so it won't be too much fuel cost. Um, Tarquin, you know the mountains she's referring to because they are right near your monastery. Yes, yes, I know. 
I've been oh, there. Did... Oh, I am. Sorry. Did you, did you? No, you, you, you go, you go. Oh, I was saying I was. Uh, I'm very familiar with the area. Oh, uh, where do you think we should uh, head then? Uh, well, um, I have to check the map, but uh, I think we're not so far away. Okay. Um, I think it should only be a couple of days, less than that, if we're fast, get some fast mounts, but I don't know how much money y'all have got, so. Ideally, I don't want to. Not taking the worm? <sighs> It costs a lot of magical energy to make him really big, and uh, people's also started getting suspicious of a dragon-like thing flying through the sky. Um, I Sorry, I, may or may not have been reprimanded for it. So. I, I was no. distracted. For, I, I was distracted for a little bit. Um, what's the issue with the money? Um, like, t is it to take an airship, or what's what's up? Uh, for mounts. To get oh. fast mounts. The more money, the faster the mount. <sighs> Keep it cheap, go on a goat. That <laughs> you are too big for. I can probably get us some fairly fast mounts. Um, since we are trying to return the little one in a hurry. Um, oh. how much, how much would a really quick horse, or how much would we be paying per mount if we really tried ah. to go for the good, for, for the good ones? Uh, well, we'd need to go and ask at the uh, stables, which All we right. are not currently at, so I, I right, don't well. have a price at, off the top of my head, unfortunately. All right, let's let's do that. Okay, and uh, who knows? Maybe when we're in the forest, we can maybe see about maybe riding the worm a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> worm. Uh, or, yep, it's a, like, with a Y, not oh, a... Yes, oh. of course. Oh. <laughs> so, a worm. A worm. Uh, you say worm. <laughs> like, what a regular worm. 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 Yeah. Worm. <laughs> but it's spelled different, because it's not a fucking worm. Right. Worm. Right, the worm. Yes, that's right. Okay. It's, it's got little feet you see under the the legs. Could you imagine us being shrinkified so we could ride some worms, though? That'd be sweet. <laughs> Worm. It'd be expensive. Uh, are, is, is she alright? Um, she's just saying the word worm. She'll be fine. Let's go to the she likes the sound of it. Mm. Okay. Never seen one before. Okay. Okay. Worm. I guess it is kind of fun to say. Worm. Alright, do y'all need anything? Or are we good to go and meet this guy and then get going to the stables? Stables, please. Well, I have to go and meet the guy, because we might be taking him with us as well. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So, sorry. Burst your bubbles. Um, no, I do I believe... That we are a bus service, apparently. <laughs> I mean, he might have been face to face with Gimmick and be able to tell us more about uh, disaster. More than Yatirin? Oh, I can't wait to hear this. <sighs> yeah, you're not wrong. All right, let's go find him. <laughs> and uh, you all head through the city. Thank you. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> um, she, she's like, no, yeah, I kind of want to see that fight. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that on the way to go talk to the guy, there was actually a quick uh, moment between uh, Danny and Camellia that took place? Oh my god, you're so right. It went like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tons well, I guess the page. I, 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 I guess just um, you know, as we're we're walking, Danny, hey Camellia, and he like gestures for her to slow down a little bit to put a bit of space between them and the rest of the group. Um, hey, what's up? Well, 
I'm beginning to feel a little bit of a change in the air, um, which means I'm probably going to be called back to the Fae soon. Your mother... God, I, I, I don't really know how, how, how to say this. So I'll just come out with it. I'm trying to think of a way to offer you a little bit of protection even when I'm not here. And so I was just wondering, would you like to borrow my hat? Well, what does your hat do? Danny, like, kind of leans in close. Well, I, I, guess, I guess there's no way to keep it secret if, if, if I give it to you now. Um, my hat's actually a mimic. Well... It's, oh. um, it may not do too well in a fight, but, you know, if you are struggling a bit, you could toss it at an enemy and it will start chomping on them. You know, just kind of distract them so you can get some good hits in or, you know, distract one enemy if you're surrounded, something like, like that. Oh. Um, it's not the strongest fighter, but, um... You know, it definitely helps it, it, in a pinch, and uh, it, it does keep the head warm if you want to try to wear it. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, you... You haven't used it in a fight before. Not since I've been traveling with y'all. Um, there hasn't really been a need, but I have had to use it a couple of times in the past, and it's been... Rude. R really saved my skin. Oh, well... Thanks, that's... super generous of you. Well, it's just, you know... I'm going to be leaving... It. It's really hard to say how long it'll be, but it feels like any moment, you know what I mean? And so mm. I've just... I've just been thinking for a little while, you know... How could I... honor my word to your mother even when I'm not here? Very noble of you, Danny. Thank you. Are you are you going to take off the hat and demonstrate? Well, since she's accepted, Danny pulls off the hat. <gasps> you so... feel you feel a clamping of resistance. I know, Jat. I know. I know. You'll miss me. I'll miss you. We've been so close for so long. And he like, like as Danny's slowly pulling the, 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 the you know, Jat the hat off. He's like patting it, like trying to comfort it. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, and 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 you and you have to, re you, you know, like Danny, like even even though he's offering the hat, you know. The hat's very resistant to let go. Danny is also very resistant to let go. Oh. <laughs> and also, also, um, just to paint a visual picture, <laughs> for those of you who have been wondering what exactly has been under Danny's hat. So, there have been, like, bits of hair coming out from the sides. You know, green hair to match the beard. The hair comes off with the hat. Danny is bald as fuck. <laughs> I knew it. What? <laughs> so, the biggest reveal. <laughs> so it's like um, I was ex I was expecting this to come out like you know oh in a fight. I was planning to like. I didn't oh, think this would happen so soon. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 we did say it's gonna it's gonna be a new a new companion when uh, the reveal happens. So, but hey, mm. you, um, you don't really have to change the the the, the, the wrestler. Mo I'm, I realize I'm kind of breaking our immersion <laughs> a little bit, but no, it's great. <laughs> like the hat provides hair for Danny, so as long as the hat's on, like I feel like the the wrestler is accurate. But if the hat is ever taken off, you know he's he's bald. I I I, I don't know if he can manage that or if the hat just stays on during our WrestleManias. Um, I'm I'm sure we can figure it out. Uh, there's a witch hat that is only for entrances. 
Pardon? There's a witch hat in mm -hmm. WWE that only you can't have on in the fight, but it can be on for entrances. So you can come out in Jat, and then Jat can go by the I time the actual feel fight like, happens. I feel like, unless it's for very special situations, like what's happening now, Danny just would refuse to take the hat off, though. Valid. So, I don't know if the hat can be knocked off in that game with... How you have the the, the costume I don't think now? So. I oh good then then then, then it's perfect <laughs> it's perfect. Um anyway back to the to the conversation. <laughs> um, and I, I imagine like Jat is squirming even as Danny oh, is, is, sure. is is like is like handing it over to Camellia. Oh just his little so the the entire brim of the hat is lined with little teeth. Um. And oh. inside is just the hey, void. Hey, hey, it just occurred to me. I, um... He is a baby. He is a baby mimic. Um, can the hair that was attached turn into the teeth? Like, it's not, like, on the outer brim, but it's, like... You, you know what I mean? Like... I think Jack would illusion it every yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. The... I don't know where the hair would go and Jack would be happy about it. <laughs> Okay, it's good. It's like you know, Jet knows that Danny doesn't want people to know he's bald, but this is mm -hmm. an important occasion, so he's, I guess, revealing it to the world. Yeah. So does Camellia take Jet? Yeah, she'll extend her hand and go, "Hi, Jet. It's nice to meet you, Camellia." <laughs> <laughs> she'll just hold it for a bit by the brim. Okay, Jet, I'll take Jet, care of you. Jet, I need you to take very good care of her, okay? Uh, and, and, Jet... like, and like, Dan and like, Danny reaches over to pet Jet in Camellia's hands, like as they're walking. Like he's just. It, this is a difficult moment <laughs> for both of them. <laughs> Jat settles slowly, eventually. And when I return, Jat, I promise you'll be right back where you belong. But <laughs> that would cheer you up. There's just tiny teeth indents on Danny's round Danny's head where the brim was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad none of y'all tried to rip off the hat. That would have been Oof. interesting. <laughs> Oh my god! Like I was waiting yeah, for it. The conversation just, happened a few times, and I was just—I was like, just oh, waiting for the boy. chaos that would have <laughs> because If you had taken Jet by force, it would have gone down. <laughs> oh shit! But yes, Chat is a mimic cat. No eyes, no no legs, no arms. Just just hat mouth. Just teeth. That's that's all. Just teeth mouth. Jet. Jet. Mm -hmm. Camellia yeah. will eye the teeth marks on Danny's head and like <laughs> look down at Jet and go I have hair this should be fine and slowly put Jet on and just still kind of bites in Ow. go make sure he stays on gets whimdy yeah <laughs> so you're fucked up on them flowers <laughs> kind of settles in <laughs> Gets into a real sick looking position on Camellia's head. Um, the rest of you kind of are like, where the fuck have Camellia and Danny got? And you turn around and see the scene behind you. Oh! Your hat! Yes, I'm 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 lending it to Camellia for a bit. I'm it I'm f it feels like I'm about to, to disappear on you. Camellia will lean over and whisper to Danny, do you, do you want me to keep Jat a secret, or can I tell them? Uh, I, I, I think at this point it's just safe to go ahead and tell them. I wasn't planning okay. for it to come out quite like this, but, you know, what can you do? <laughs> Camellia, you're not used to these noises, but you do hear just like a very gentle, you just... 
<laughs> around your head. Danny, you just became accustomed to it. It just became white noise. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 totally. I can hear it... the birds now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say you can hear the sea when you put this hat on. <laughs> so, uh... <clears throat> I'm lending her the hat because it's actually, uh, it, it's actually a little mimic. Uh, it will protect her if she ever, um, comes to harm. Huh? And then he, and then he just starts to just walk forward following your to wherever, to, to the stables. Like, that, that's all he has to say on the subject. Did he just say mimic? He protect you by put a monster on your head? Yeah. All right. Are you going to be safe with that thing on your head? He, D Danny just yells back behind him. She'll be fine. If I one just... of you try to fuck with it, though, you won't be. <laughs> it feels nice when he growls. That's like some head massage shit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I do love the idea that Ludo is just having a full existential crisis right now of He's a monster But he is also clothes Not wearing clothes, but is clothes? Is clothes Can eat? <laughs> mm, yeah <laughs> Very complicated And te well, technically there is like a bandana around the, around the hat that's not attached So but huh? does Ludo know that? I don't know. So, does Ludo count that? I don't know. So do we add Jat to Camellia's inventory and take him out of mine or have, uh, we'll have keep him work? we'll keep him in both inventories and then if you need them you can refer to them because it doesn't particularly add any like inherent bonuses or skills or anything. Okay. Um and he goes on a separate turn. If you decide to use him in battle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a relief that that's come out because that was a really fun <laughs> secret to keep trying to hide. <laughs> so, the the, the plan the originally way... originally was for that to come out like in a combat situation. Like if Camellia was in danger, <laughs> Danny would have just thrown Jat at the enemy nearest to him that that was attacking Camellia. <laughs> like you that didn't... was the plan. You didn't think that to throw Jat at Dragon. That that th that was a whole moment. It didn't occur to him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I have. Oh, I've gone on the wrong character sheet. Besides, Danny didn't want everyone to know he was bald unless there was like no other uh, choice in the matter. Some real friendship um, declaration life or right death there. Situation. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Camelia, I'm adding the baby to your. Uh, Extra. I, mean, I, just, I just have to say, I think, I think, I think Jet actually looks really good on Camellia. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a, it's a fucking look. <laughs> Absolutely drawing Jet on Camellia now, and it's great because there is a homebrew item. So Jet the juvenile mimic hat, <laughs> tiny monstrosity. Yep. That, and he just stays as a hat because he's a baby. <laughs> but he, he a baby with teeth though you throw he it on somebody and he gonna chomp down something fierce <laughs> at least as fierce as a baby can you know what I mean yep um, but I... as as this uh, revelation happens um, and Danny feels the fey forces uh, slowly approaching <laughs> yeah it's it's happened so much now that he can feel a change in the air shortly before it happens so that's what prompted this conversation mm -hmm. um you all see that uh you all leads you towards what seems to be um a slightly underground kind of built into the cliff uh that this city rests on uh an adventurer's guild that's built in um and as you approach, you see um, a tall, very pale, uh, very, very lean, on the kind of thinner side of lean, um, wearing kind of a 
Hawaiian shirt and some <laughs> capri pants uh, and some sandals, um, you see what appears to be a high elven man. Um, very long blonde hair and uh, a slightly jaunt face, but bright and lively eyes. And uh, looks at you all and goes, Oh! Aren't you a lively lot? And that's where we're gonna end today's session. Oh, um, DM. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't know if this affects things, but like, Danny was actually going to pay for the mounts. <gasps> Better share if, that money now. If 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 needed. Well, he, magic you a credit card. <laughs> he he doesn't know how much to share. He doesn't know how much to share. Yeah. Um, you you DM me how much Danny has got slash is willing to spend, and uh, we'll put it on his tab. That okay. seems like a fair compromise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we'll get a wagon or something. So, or you can share. You can hop on someone else's mount by the time you're back. Should it be needed? <laughs> All right. But yeah. Yay! Gee. Amazing revelation for the end of stream as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Danny like shitty revelation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the theories have been theorying for a while, but I've been as vague as possible because I respect <laughs> Danny's decision to hide his baldness. Mm. I've been wondering how that was going to go down. <laughs> I need you to protect my child. Also, you're due for a retreat this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! And the character you're about to meet is one of my favorites. <laughs> Don't stop dying! Oh my Not bad! I thought, I thought I'd muted. My bad. <laughs> Not allowed to die. Um, the character you just on your birthday. Oh, your birthday. Um, Friday. Or the day after your birthday. No. <laughs> You're not allowed to die within 365 days of your birthday. We're gonna get you the sickest casket. <laughs> no, I'm gonna put okay, LED lights there. in it. Yeah. Just make sure Val's there to say my eulogy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he will, just, he will just, sing your oh, eulogy for oh. you. Oh. <laughs> well, we all saw that coming, right? I mean, it's yeah. gonna sing Rainbow Road. Look, uh, of course. <laughs> look, <laughs> like, road, okay, so that. Th th that noise was like mostly surprise, okay? I really thought you were younger than that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna be, yeah. It's almost like age is just a number. I mean, it is, but it, you know. It is. My yeah. daughter is 21. No, my daughter's 22. <gasps> oh! <Whoa. laughs> Gross. I so is there going to be a, a like a version of the Danny artwork that doesn't have the hat now, like for the overlay? Bold. Oh because God! It, because I mean, they're already sketching. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about. I don't have my. Because Did, have now. you seen the chat? Send in your Vicious. fan art. Well, it's just, sure it's, it's, it's just. It's just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw this Bald out here. Like, and short. God it's, damn. It's like I'm. I'm impressed by how quickly we got. Camellia with a hat art just here on stream. Like props <laughs> props to you for that. That looks yeah. good as well, shit. Oh my god. Incredible. Incredible. <sighs> good shit. Good shit. <sighs> but yeah, yeah, y'all y'all. I'm excited for the character you've just met. He's one of my babies. Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, he's a he's a real joy. <laughs> he's great. He's the fucking lamest uh, high elf that I ever thought existed. Talking about, I thought you were talking it's about Master Roshi. Like, yeah, I was gonna really say all I can imagine is the Master Roshi. <laughs> <laughs> Jat is also freaking awesome. I also love Jat. Jat is baby. Mm -hmm. Jat is precious. Jat was also incredibly fucking hard to draw on the original <laughs> Danny model. I've got to fucking say. I was like, how do hats work? 
How does that work where it's kind of technically eating the guy's head? But not really. What what does the rest of the party cool. have yeah. to look forward to? <laughs> yeah. Who who else is hiding hair? Or not hiding hair? Or hiding something in their hair? Or under their hat? <gasps> ah. Is there a second friends under there? <laughs> there might friends be by the time he gets back. Hat. It's Whoa. probably been fucking. <gasps> There's just a tiny beetle under there. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say a tiny seagull under there. Just an sm <laughs> even smaller seagull. What? That would be weird. <laughs> like That'd under the hat, there was only a baby chicken. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that would be crazy. But yeah, send us all your bold Danny fan art to the <laughs> Twitter in our Discord. We would love to see it. Or just anything, even if you're just like, man, I can't believe Danny's hat was a mimic this whole time. Yeah, because I think you said you wanted something like cool and magical with your hat, Danny. Um, Val. I just yeah. see the names when I say the names. Um, and I was like, hmm. You know, I have always wanted a weird mimic. <laughs> And you're like, oh my god. <laughs> and, it, and and it, it's actually saved Danny on one occasion when he almost opened a mimic chest. <laughs> yep. Mm. Yep, it certainly mm. did. The, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The brim tightened slightly. You're uh -huh. right. I was like, well, not opening that fucker now. <laughs> Your baby was like, no! <laughs> Dad, no! <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> I just heard a dim echo of that in my mind. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, but wouldn't he be able to turn into Mustache other Mustache comb over. Uh... Oh my god. Hold up. Oh my god. Mustache comb over. Yes. Need it. Yes. Iconic. Oh my god. Y'all are great. I'm just reading the fucking live session discussion. Oh, oh, shoot. Maka, no, up. not the fucking fluffy worm. That's mm -hmm. great. <laughs> For Viz, right? Where? Not, not far <laughs> off. Not, not as far off as I'd like. Um, I've been laughing at my own <laughs> chat for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that that is. That, that shit is... was rough. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> right out with it. Oh, y'all with the wave check. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mark and no. Mark and no, the meme. Oh my god. Pothole possum mystery meat fender squirrel scattered skunk dashboard deer porcupine pulp minced mongoose. <clears throat> hey, let me see it. That was great. Well, you got an IRL voice ban? What do you mean? No, did I do so? What happened? No channel points on JC's channel. Oh. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> oh, what do you get at a hundred thousand? I feel like I've been saving up. That's uh, <gasps> him drawing. Something. Oh my god! I'm so fucking close! I've been you... saving for years! <laughs> I'm at 99.9 thousand! <laughs> you know what you're gonna get, right, Key? Hold up, Come I on. have some examples if you want. <laughs> Mods, let's, uh, let's siphon Key's points, please. <laughs> I ain't been here for seven years for nothing, man. Fuck you. <laughs> no. I'm gonna get no. the sickest wolf. Please. Wolf. All four letters. Oh my god, I earned it. I earned it. I earned it. I earned it. It's too late, bitches. Hey, yeah. You don't have to do it now. But okay, it's I was done. Gonna say. The deal is done! <laughs> do you want uh, to uh, change what kind of cream this is? Please. Oh, that's beautiful, actually. I love that. Well, oh, I, let me pull up the first one he did. It's like an eggs cookie. <laughs> I draw oh. very well. You draw very well. 
It's so beautiful. It's your birthday. Give me a present. <laughs> uh, do you want to do this at the top of next session? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And I mean, the question is: Are we? Are we? Nice. A normal? <laughs> are we having a normal next session? Oh god, that's that thing you do or... when like you close your eyes and you just <laughs> don't even look. My you eyes see open. where the lines end up. <laughs> To be fair, that was a minute drawing. The the masterpiece is like two minute drawing. <laughs> I love it though. That was beautiful, Benny. I'm just gonna <laughs> have this for posterity. I'm so just ninety nine point nine years. <laughs> beautiful. Well, on that bombshell. <laughs> yeah, I'm are we? Are at, we? I'm almost hmm. at twenty. I I, I can't wait. Wee. What happens are at we... twenty? No, I mean like uh, I can't wait for it to get up to a hundred thousand. Oh, nice! It's, it's just mm. it, it's just gonna take a while. It took me like five years. So <gasps> I'll see you in five years or oh, clear it when it's four, here, four and a half. Aww. You said question is whether or not we'll play next session. What? What uh, is? Is there? Uh, are there? Are we doing a normal session? Or are we doing something else? Why wouldn't we do a normal session? I didn't... Well, I, the, there were talks of a spooky session. Oh, or spooky, spooky session, right. Yeah, you guys want to do that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not yeah. a spooky one show. Well, mm. I, have, I have to work next Wednesday, so I won't be here <laughs> for it. That's why I had that conversation with Camellia. Yeah. Can we make you the damsel in distress, Val? <laughs> that we have to rescue in the ho in the Halloween episode. It de it depends on who voices Danny. We'll miss Who's you. it gonna be? <laughs> it might not be Danny. It might just be you. It might oh, be it might just characters. be characters. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Go right ahead. Uh, if you need me to take like scared pictures, like help, <laughs> oh help me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Who can do the best Val impersonation? Howdy. Nice. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We, we want somebody to do a Val impersonation, Val. Just, you gotta be quiet for a second. Tell oh, it somebody sorry. else. Sorry. Rubes, give it a try. <laughs> Val is Danny. <gasps> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'm... I'm Valtheus, as Danny the Dapper Dwarf, who's doing an impression of uh, Valtheus. Howdy. <laughs> hey, I'm fucking Val over here. <laughs> that one's spot on. Hey, Listen. I'm fucking Val over here. That one can use a work. Yeah. Danny the Dapper Dwarf, and I don't understand <laughs> what you're saying, but I don't care. <laughs> 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 oh wait, no. My hello, my name is Savalfius. I'm from Yorkland <laughs> in the I north hear. of Britain. I am Yorkish. Oh my god. Twilight to Starlight just subscribed. Howdy doody. What <sighs> Let's go. I can't how many so many months that's mm. one month from six mm. years hey mm. dang oh hey hey it's a lot of years what christmas twilight thank you so much thank you damn had me doing fucking effort sound effects so i was so surprised <laughs> <laughs> Do you, need, do you need any more? More confusion? Ah! Okay. Are uh, they good? We got it. Okay. <laughs> Being recast? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, they don't tell you when you get recast. They just do it. Um, <laughs> wish I was joking. Um, <laughs> fucking not. Um, hasn't happened to me, thankfully, yet to touch wood. Um... Yeah. Subscribe <laughs> to YouTube. The YouTube YouTube channel. On Twitch. Uh and Twitter. Uh follow us on Twitter. 
and eventually Blue Sky when I get around to it. Um, also, check out our Discord and all the wonderful links that our wonderful mods uh, posted. Also, check out our wonderful mods. Go send them love. Send them money. Send them portraits of a time long past. Um, oh my god, wait. Oh, do I redeem? Can I re- can I re-redeem the masterpiece? Oh, I'll do it next week. You're right, you're right, you're right. Also, <laughs> I, was confused. Get I was like, wait. You got it refunded, right? I did. I'm gonna okay, good. Mm. No, don't change it! No, don't change it, please! <laughs> no, please don't change it! <laughs> no, don't change it! <laughs> um... <laughs> we'll maybe do a spooky one next week. Will it be this campaign or a different one? I don't fucking know. The only way to know is to fucking come watch us. We'll just get spooky. The only way I know is like to fucking spooky. come. Uh, what? Uh, what you said? That's not what I said. Literally what you said. That's literally not what I said. You don't know that. Um. <gasps> Ladies Night Royal Rumble. Yeah. Keep an eye out in the Discord for the next Royal Rumble as well. We will announce when that is. Can highly recommend coming. We apparently helped people overcome social anxiety. <laughs> you walked in. You did that one. You walked into that one. No, what did I? No, what did I? What did I say? I genuinely don't know. I just zoned out and was reading the thing. You said, <laughs> and I quote: <laughs> "I definitely recommend y'all coming." <laughs> <laughs> did I fucking lie though? Did I fucking lie though? Did I tell a lie? This did I tell a lie? It's a strong recommendation. Uh huh. I'm sorry, y'all don't want to let people have their cummies? I. Fine. It, no. No, you can't do <laughs> that. Let the people have their cummies. Thanks for coming. It's Tales of the Torn Veil. Thanks for coming. Happy birthday, JP. Um, hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Wait, I'll do the... Come here next week. I, I, I arrive here next week for a super spooky one-off. Yay. Pretty good. JC. Why is no one joining in? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to zoom. Hey. Yay. Okay, Yay. I'm okay now I'm play taps. Yeah. <laughs> What's taps? <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs> We're leaving. I'm closing the thing. Bye. <laughs> bye.